here tonight was... What's up, man? I'm not feeling that good. So. You got beef? No, I don't got beef. I got sickness. This fucking guy. I'm walking in. Normally we do a, a pound we did that. Yeah. of the hand. Yeah. And nor n normally we come in here. This time it was a pound of the hand. Well, you said something to me as we were walking through the door. And yeah. I was like, yeah, well, fuck you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good. You're I'm not feeling good? Not feeling good, yeah. You're uh, you're not feeling very good tonight. The last couple of days, not just tonight. I just been feeling real weak. Do you My know what bones ache almost? Like you know what I and the rest of the WZ Army say to that? Wah. Oh, wah! I'm not feeling good this week. And we gotta do something about these lights, cause I, I'm looking at. Uh, uh, all right, I'm fat. I get that. But do I got to be a pale white... You didn't shave this week, you know? I didn't feel like it. I don't feel good. Yeah. But look how white we look in this fuck with all the lights. We've got like three lights right here above the computer. We'll turn that one off and see what happens. Let's can we get happens. like a... Can we set the mood? Do we have wine? There we go. Is there any That's wine? better. Well, no, can we do that? I no, I like that actually. I think that looks better. We're a little on the dark side. You know, can yeah, they see us? Do yeah. we come... Are we okay? If we were black, maybe not, because of the background with the shirts and stuff. Yeah. We would probably be, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's a joke there, but I don't want to sound racist. I like it. I was going to say we'd be like floating, like less like floating eyeballs or something. As long as they can see us, uh, the, yeah. you know, they, it might be a little bit better that we use one light this week. pretty racist what I just said. I wish yeah, I could that yeah. Can we start the show over? We can't start the show over. Yeah. We're live. That's a bad thing. Live, baby, live. <laughs> hey. Who did I get? People are always asking about guests, and I wanted to confirm with you. you already they did. wanted um. Me they wanted Jason it. Harvey. Uh, Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, I, said, I said no to that one. And then Jason Harvey. Who's yeah. the other one? Ah, uh, John, John Morrison. Morrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Morrison said, was it. the other one. Um, they want to come on here. Um, I, I'm gonna book. I'm gonna book the Morrison one, right? Okay. Maybe next Tuesday we can yeah, do that. I'll see you. I, I know, I know. And we've got Waltman, and we've got... At this point, I tell him the same thing I tell him every time. Book it. I'm th any guy you want, I will interview. And then it never happens. John Morg or John Morrison, they want to do something. There's a movie that, that he's going to be in. And whoever's in charge of What's his What's his name? Press, Lucha, um, Johnny Mundo? John Mundo. Johnny, Johnny, Mundo? Johnny Mundo? Yeah, yeah. something like Bro, that. Shalik showed me a clip the other day of, I think it was last week's Luke last week's Lucha Underground taping, he did this fucking move where he goes running to the corner, yeah. where the corner is, you know, and he does a fucking headstand on the corner, and then a 360 flip off of it, he all in one motion, like, rup, rup, bing, yeah. boom, yeah. it was, it looked it like was it sick. was, it was one of those where you've seen a lot of amazing spots, but you watch that one, and you're like, I don't even know how that one's physically possible. He used to do something in WWE where we would run up, and it just kind of a vertical leap, and then do like a triple twist. You know how like ice skaters, like they'll be skating on the yeah, ice, yeah, and they yeah. do like a triple axle or something like that? Correct. Morrison could do that without any speed. Wait. I mean, run a little bit. Get up and spin around multiple times. And his finisher off the top was kind of. Similar. That's what I'm. Maybe that's yeah, what I'm he talking would do about. A jump and instead of just doing a straight, he'd do like head a, over a heels flip. He would spin sideways. That's what as I'm well talking about. Then and flip all at once. Right, what right. The hell was, somebody in the chat room tell us what that was called. I want to say like the something star press, not the shooting. Shooting star. star press. No, 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 no. That's a gainer. That's okay. Lesnar okay. tried to do against Angle and jumped and. What was Morrison's head. finishing? It was so I nasty. I think he played off his character name. I forget. It was he like would. He would come off the top there. You're right, off the very top, and he would do this. It was crazy. Yeah, well, guys, come on in the chat. I think I think that me. finisher and uh, the guy from NXT with the um, uh, not Sami Zayn, the guy that does the triple flip in the air, and they call it the the red red arrow. Oh, oh, Starship Pain was Morrison's. Starship Pain, that's what it was. That was Morrison's. Uh, and, and NXT and is it Neville? Adrian Neville, right, so, right. What is it called? I think it's the Red Arrow. That sounds right. Right. That sounds right. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't watched a lot of NXT. I will be watching tomorrow night. Yeah, the That's live it. special. Yep. All of those live specials yeah, yeah. Everyone's are been great. so good. Everyone's been great. They are so good. And tomorrow night's card, you've got the main event. Which, back in my day, with Ring of Honor... They've built it up great, too. And that's El Generico and Kevin Steen. Okay, but, I mean, it's... it's that's same El thing Generico and now. Kevin Steen. And they've done a great job of building up the fact that these Absolute. two have history. Yeah! Like, like, Kevin Owens just came a month ago to NXT to you new fans, but... 
those fans are all hardcore fans. They know the history between Generico and Steam. Right, so right, to right. them, it's like they only got to do subtle teases or subtle hints alluding towards their past, mm. and the fans are immediately with it, and then they can carry the story from there and take it, you know, where it's going. If any of you guys have, I, I mean, you should go back, and I'm sure that they're on YouTube or, or somewhere. I'm sure they're out there somewhere, but... Google or YouTube Kevin Steen against El Generico in Ring of Honor, and that's probably what's going to come up because that's where the main feud was, but any of those matches, Kevin Steen against El Generico in Ring of Honor, that's a preview of what you guys are going to get tomorrow night on the NXT Who is, Rivals uh, special. A Tommy and Baller fighting? They're fighting each other. Or no? Why is that? Why is that? I, I I don't think so. I think I think Atami's fighting Tyler Breeze. That sounds right. If yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, you're mistaken. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So who's and Baller got? I don't know who Baller has. Is he on the uh, card? Because Atami and Baller are a tag team down in NXT. Yeah, but they do do singles too. Is they he do on the, singles. Is Baller right. on the card? I don't know. Baylor Baller. How do you say? I'm not. It? I'm not Baller sure. I'm not Baylor. sure. I know Charlotte and what a uh, name by the way for somebody that good and I know. looks that unique. They're gonna give him a name like Finn I Baller think, Baylor. Is it Charlotte and in Sasha Banks? I think it's Charlotte and Sasha Banks or Bailey. Bailey and Charlotte are are teamed up. I that believe sounds right, cause in last, NXT. the last one was was Charlotte and Sasha Banks, right? Okay, is she All the right. light skinned black chick that's kind of hella cute and got the. Uh, the Valley Girl. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, 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 I want to say Bailey and Oh, Charlotte. Baylor's got, uh, Baylor's got Adrian Neville. That'll be great. Oh, Baller and, uh, and Neville? That's what they're saying, Absol yeah. That'll be awesome. That'll be sick, man. All of the matches... Fire off some more matches for the card for us in the chat. I'm All of the matches. Some if some you guys stuff. haven't checked out NXT, I mean, listen, you don't watch every Wednesday night, whatever. It's the tape shows. They do the NXT tapings. You're missing really good stuff, by the way, if you don't watch those great shows. Stuff. Um, but the live specials especially. Oh, yeah. I don't even watch especially. NXT TV on a week-to-week -week basis. I've never right. seen one episode, but I've seen every, every live special. special that they've done. And I, I told you. If I they were on pay-per-view, I would spend my 30 40 bucks, whatever. I'd pay I that. said to you, you've got to watch these live specials. Yeah, just, no, I know. Not just because they're, uh, you know, the crowd reaction and how into the whole show has a different gimmick. feel. It does. Yeah, it's, it's like the live. old CW, or you know, it's something where like these guys really right. The the roster are really tight. You can feel right. They're right, all right. you know. Clo I'm sure there's you know dissensions among certain people's relationships and stuff. But for the most part, they seem like a band that's tightly knitted together. Right. Fight right, for right, a right. cause. Right. They all work extremely hard, especially on these so live hard specials, because the they know specials. this is right. our chance to really make an impression, Right, right. and then the actual feel of the show, like you said, the crowd atmosphere, the production elements, it's very, more, what's the word? I'm well, it's it's like, it's like when SmackDown is live on Thursday nights, you check out SmackDown because <coughs> it's intimate. live. No, I'm looking it's at, like, it's a more intimate feel because it's a smaller building. It's right, not this right. big giant building that they've got half full and then half carpeted and tapered off. Well, why don't you watch TNA then? <laughs> well, why don't you watch they TNA? They have a different feel. They feel like a <laughs> shitty version of WWE in a small building. NXT True. has its own... True. Crowd atmosphere, the production's solid. Especially well, that was the impact building. zone in Orlando, though. The impact zone in Orlando, Florida. And I used to love it. To have, did I know, not buy every $5 pay-per-view when they did the yeah, weekly pay-per-view? Yeah, back in Eventually, the Eventually, the product turned sour, and they tried to become WWE. Anybody who got fired from WWE, they're our new main eventer. Yeah. As yeah, opposed yeah. to, uh, let's bring these guys in from WWE and elevate our current main eventers. Right, They can right, beat right. this guy fresh off WWE TV, and now he seems like he's legit. Well, in their defense, though, <laughs> I mean, look how for a guy like uh, Robert Roode, Bobby Roode's come in, in TNA. Uh, before TNA, nobody, Bobby Roode, you know what I mean? But yeah. TNA's kind of, that's one example of very few. Yeah, then, of very few. You could even say Samoa Joe and stuff like that, but he was really known for Ring of Honor before. Samoa Joe, they buried in TNA. It's but no, in the first it. half of his run there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's doing stuff with Angle. Right. When he's doing stuff with AJ Styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's doing stuff with Low Key. Right. He was right. the man. Right. You know, he right. seemed like a killer, and then if you put him in a WWE ring against their roster, yeah. he would seem like a midget. Oh, yeah, I know. Which is the problem. Right. You either right. need to have a whole roster, if he's going to be a killer kind of gimmick kind of guy. Right. you got to right. have him fighting guys that are, you know, I can't even say our size, because we tower over a lot of WWE guys. I remember I met RVD. Right. At a UFC once in Anaheim, California that I was going to. Michael yeah, Moody. Yeah, I remember. Great guy. Uh, Holly Mood Entertainment. Check it out.com. Right. 
Uh, he did it. He's got a new documentary with RVD coming out about marijuana. It's called yeah. I don't want to screw the name up, but it's called The Emperor, The King, and the President. I think. Right. It's about the legalization of marijuana and all that stuff. But anyways, RVD's. I've like seen the, the video previews yeah. that you put up. They're really good. They're really, uh, he does. He did the uh, one hundred one reasons not to be a yeah. pro wrestler yeah. DVD. It was a yeah. documentary. Yeah. He did the New Jack, one of your favorite guys. Yeah. New Jack Hardcore yeah. DVD, and now yeah. he's doing this. The pre The Emperor, the President, and the King. It's about. The legalization of marijuana, RVD's in it. Right. So he's friends with RVD, and he introduced me to RVD, who was in line to get a beer right. at the UFC Anaheim show, where Tito Ortiz fought Forrest Griffin for the first time, or Lofsky Sylvia too, main yeah. event for the heavyweight title. Yeah. Anyways, he's in line to get a beer, RVD, and Moody's, we're all sitting together, me, Moody, and a couple of people, and this was after he broke my fucking back in a car wreck from yeah. the airport to the hotel. But anyways, we're in the building, UFC's going on, we're driving. On rain, too, man. You guys are driving on rain. Yeah. Not and even I, snow. And it's and the California freeways. Was it, the, was it the 405? You call it a throughway? What is that? Uh, the highway. Maybe, but it had like five lanes. It was You're like probably on the 405. I don't know, but those four or five lanes. Like, there was a billion lanes all in the same direction, you right. know, on the same piece of yeah. fucking pavement. So, we, yeah, we get clipped and blah, 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 blah. That's not even the story. But anyways, after all that, we're at the UFC, and uh, we're drunk, and he's like, yo, RVD's out getting a beer. I know him. I did that documentary with him. I'm doing a new film with him. Right. Do you want to meet him? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to meet RVD. That's one of my favorites. This is back in 2003. Right. So, right. RVD was like the shit at this time. Right. Still in WWE and all that. So he introduces me to him, and I swear to God, RVD came up to, like, here on me. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, he seems tiny larger guy. than life on TV. Right. He's not even one right. of the guys that's knocked as all. He's one of the small guys. He's a good six feet yeah. tall, but I'm 6'2". Right. You're, right. like, 6'3", so yeah. we tower over these guys. So, yeah. back to my point, like, Samoa Joe, if he's going to be a killer gimmick, right. you need a bunch of guys that can't even say, like us, you need a bunch of guys that are short and thick. Well, or thick, yeah, yeah. Man, bigger, bigger in the body. But, yeah, hey. in WWE, you couldn't make Samoa Joe, like, that when Taz went to WWE, he couldn't be a killer. Right. Who's gonna believe that right. little fucking tan midget's gonna beat up, you know, right. these right. big giants like Big Show and you know Right. Hey, let me let me say one thing. Have you guys seen listen, speaking of the four four oh five in, in California last night, I know some of you guys have uh, four oh five is a, a major highway. Uh oh. like five lanes and five lanes, ten lane highway oh. in uh Five, five lane highway in uh, California. I know that some of you guys had. Did you guys see that police chase in Los Angeles last night where the guy was carjacking people left and right? He's ramming people. I think there were like four or five different collisions that this guy got in. He jumped out of one car. He would he would wreck one car, jump out, hijack another, carjack another person, get in that you car. You showed me a video like that. He's got a ago. gun. He's got a gun. This that one was in Colorado. Yeah. Last night it was one of the craziest police chases. Like that though. He would walk up. He pull the gun out. He point it and say, "Get out of the fucking car. The hair get out of the car, out. Yeah. dude." Would throw people out of the car. Take that car. Drive off. You got it. You got a YouTube. If you guys haven't seen the highlights of this thing, it was. Unreal. Finally, he got stuck in traffic. He gets out of the car. He runs. He tries to carjack another vehicle. That car pulls off, and he tripped and fell. And when he tripped and fell, the cops opened fire and shot him. Really? He's in, he's in the hospital. Wait, in the middle of a street? In the middle of the street of a, of a, of a big highway. I thought they are not allowed to do that with the state <laughs> all around. They stuff. shot him. Wow. I mean, this, this chase had been going on for an hour, and he was very dangerous. They knew that he had a weapon, number so there one. there you go. He's armed. You can shoot. But I thought if there's a bunch of citizens around, you're not allowed to open fire unless well, you can he, fight he, for that situation. He tripped on the ground, and it was kind of, you trip, and I'm firing to keep you down. Uh, but he had a weapon in what his hand. What if it hits the ground and, and ping? Shoots back up and nails somebody. I don't, the, dude. If you guys haven't seen this, I'm telling you, go on what YouTube does this have to or do? go to uh, go to ktla.com. They've got raw footage of the entire chase. Ktla, um, it was crazy. Well, you wow. were talking about Michael Moody and getting in a car accident on the 405. Oh, wow. I'm just saying that last night there was a crazy police chase. Talking about now, RVD, let me get yeah. back to NXT, um, and then we're gonna talk Monday Night Raw from last night. But the big story over the last 24 hours that we've had up on the websites is a diva <laughs> that, <laughs> that is involved with NXT. So yeah. let me break it down for you. Seth Rollins' Twitter account and Instagram. And Facebook. Um, 
And Facebook too? All of his social media accounts. All yeah. of his social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And did you they know that it was actually embedded? I won't tell the story to spoil it, but it was actually embedded on the main <laughs> WWE.com page. Because, because they, they call in the, uh, yeah. the tweets and things yeah. like that. <laughs> I didn't know that till today. I'm like, so wow, that was on the main page. What, what happens <laughs> is Seth Rollins' Twitter account and Instagram and, and Facebook and all of his social yeah. media got... Well, because you log in all that shit on the phone. Mm -hmm. So if you have a girlfriend, which is where you're about to get to, they, okay. all, all they need is your phone or if you have your pass, you know. Well, here's the deal. So his accounts get hacked, okay? And I put that because I got a theory on this. Oh, God. Um, where are you going? So, so what I have happens, no idea where he's going. What happens is a, a diva from NXT, a, a naked photo, a nude photo she looks of her. Good. Well, she's hot. She's Bang, NXT, bro. okay? She tits, but she looked great. So, yeah. so this photo winds up on Seth Rollins' all of his social media accounts, all right? And and then a couple of hours go by, and Seth Rollins, who is engaged to be married, it's has a fiance. fiance. Yeah. She comes out, catches wind. Well, actually, the picture got deleted. The picture got deleted. And then reposted. She catches wind yeah, 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 right. that this photo wound up on Seth Rollins' account. <laughs> She catches wind. Why must have flipped out. Why does he have a naked picture of this diva must on his have, phone? Must yeah. have flipped out and lost her lid. And this is all during Raw last night. So Why? Poor, poor Seth Rollins is backstage at Can't Raw. Nothing about and he's probably thinking in his head, "Oh my God, what? It, look at the look. What's going on? Oof. I can't do anything. Raw is live. I'm in the main event. I've got worse. the promos." Gets a she lot worse goes on. Yeah. The fiance goes on to her Twitter account. Which people somehow know people that follow if you're Mark. You, you you would know this guy's wife's Twitter is this because if you're looking for scoops, right? You check if his brother's got Twitter. You check his brother. Maybe he says something about Seth. You check his girlfriend. Maybe she says something about Seth. And you can she you're a real goes dark on. Man. You you follow everybody's shit. So she goes on her Twitter account and puts a buck naked nude photo Two of, them. of Seth Rollins. Two of them. Yeah. Buck naked. Dick Did out, look at nude photos. I saw one of them. See, I didn't know she put. Two I of saw them. the thumbnails. Okay. So I never clicked the thumbnails to see the. Actually, I couldn't because it was a screenshot that my boss sent me, Shali. Okay. So you can't click on the thumbnails anyway. So they were like this big, like squares, but like this big. Okay. So I saw one of them, and he stands straight up, and his dick is hanging. Right, 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 right. That's the one I saw. It looked like a tiny dick, by the way, like a real thin, skinny dick. I didn't see, you know, the big version of the picture, but from what I could tell on the thumbnail. And then the other one, isn't he kind of laying down? And his dick I didn't see that one. Yeah, there was two of them. And the other one, I think, it was, look, I couldn't tell what it was. Because, like, again, it was a thumbnail. Right. But it was all skinned. Okay. Like, the other one, you could tell it's a it's a human being standing up and there's a dick pointing out. <laughs> in the middle <laughs> yeah, part of his that's body. the one that I yeah, saw. Yeah, in the middle part of his body. And then the one next to it was, like, all skin. But, like, I'm, I'm squinting trying to see what it is. And it looked like, yeah, like he was laying so, down or something. So, here's, here's my question to you. And supposedly he's gotten a ton of traffic off of those naked pictures. Here's 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 my question your traffic up to me? you. It's up today. Yeah. It's up. My question to you is the fiance went out and got pissed off and did that and put nude photos of him. Oh, that's so so, so wait a minute. My theory this is my theory that Seth Rollins has been fucking around on his fiance. That's a heavy accusation. No, wait a minute. This is a theory. This is a theory. Seth Rollins has been messing around on his fiance with an NXT diva. She's been sending him photos of herself uh, in in the nude. Okay. Our Akbar's got a homophobia issue. He just signed out. He's true. Okay, guys, I'm out. Don't care to hear any more dick talk. Goodbye. Grow up, dude. Come Grow up. Come on, man. So, if we're talking about this right now, you'd be my, fine, right? My theory is, and this all happened before Raw, yeah. this NXT diva, you know, has been sending them these nude photos. They've been fucking around. What's They're on the road. What's her name? Do we know? Like, somebody said it in the... That's uh, her real name. Zahara. Zahara. Zahara or What's her, isn't that her real name? So what would her name I don't name think be? she's made it to the main roster yet, so no, she's the, not... The main NXT roster? Right, right. She's still, like, a, in the training she's camp. She's in the training camp, and okay. eventually, if she's, she's good enough... She's working at the performance center. Not, yeah, she's you know, down at the performance center, and, and eventually she would be called up. Okay, okay. So I think that 
her and Seth have had some sort of relationship. Something, something's been going on, and she sent the nude photos to him. I think Seth had his phone and accidentally sent out that photo, and it went to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Whoa. He accidentally said because why, why, if he got hacked, why would the wife come out? And post nude photos. The wife or the the fiance must have known that he didn't get hacked. He has these photos on his phone, and Seth is the one that put these photos up. So well, why would the wife come out and and do that to Seth if she didn't have facts? Someone probably convinced her that that's what. In the, in the initial naked picture of the NXT diva, wasn't it like not even just a, a picture, but it was that like, her name. Well, even that, but it was like someone, the screen of someone's phone, like you could see the program that it was taken off the phone with, like there was like a, okay. like a background of a phone right, right, with right, a right. picture there too. Okay. So, yeah, so maybe somebody convinced her, you know, isn't that the same phone Seth had? I don't know. I'm just it could have been that, but she was holes. very quick, she was very quick, possibly without even calling Seth and saying, hey, what's going on here? Uh, she was very quick well, to go on her Twitter account and post nude photos. And there's also a rumor. Very quick. Not a rumor, I think it's even fact, that Rollins has been sexting with some chick. Isn't that the rumor? I didn't hear that. about that part of the story? Supposedly Rollins, it's a separate story, but it might connect, because maybe the NXT Diva is the one he's doing it with. Right. They're, you know, sexting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a picture of your dick, right, she'll take right. a picture of her right. tits or something, mm-hmm. you know, and you text right. them back, you go back and forth. Right, back and forth. So, supposedly, he's involved in some kind of sexting back and forth thing with some chick. Right. Maybe that's the chick, and maybe that's the photo he would have on his phone. Well, the fiancé, I'm just saying, the fiancé was very, very quick last night to come out and send out nude photos that she had of Seth. Very quick. And then, Seth came out and didn't deny it. He basically said, I apologize yeah. um, for something that was private and personal. Are you about thing today, his statement today? Well, he put, he put out a tweet last night. You can be sure WWE coached him with the right there. I mean, this was, came out last was, night, though. Yeah, this no came shit. out last night. You think they're not aware of it? Right or? after Raw. You don't think they're aware of it during Raw? I'm sure they're on their main aware. website and shit. I'm sure somebody got word, man. Well, and he didn't deny that it was him. He didn't say no. That's a Photoshop. Uh, that not I'm my point. Not. His he, statement was probably uh, damn media damage control from WWE. Yeah. Like, no, go throw this out, but don't say nothing specific. This right. and that. Right. Because it seemed very, like, like yeah, yeah, a professional it was. thing that somebody told it was. Them right, just to clear the air. Plus, WWE, going back to where you think they were aware of it or not during the show, even though it's a live show and this was happening during a live show, my boss had told me, before I even knew about the story, you were kind of mentioning it in there, but you were so consumed with working that you only would throw out, like, a word here or there, and I was what? N- naked Rollins? What? What's going on? I'll tell you in a minute, and then you get back to work because you you know you get frantic when a big thing comes up. Right, you can't right. Even talk to you, but I came in here to do an update for the play-by-play on Raw, and my boss had said, "Have you noticed that they haven't done any? Like you know, every week they brag about what they're trending. Yeah, I know where you're going. Where yeah. they're trending worldwide yeah. on Twitter, and there was yeah. a million things trending during Raw last night that they didn't mention on the air. They didn't mention any. So they, didn't send, stuff. they didn't want to send people to Twitter where if they're WWE because Seth Rollins was number one up there. Yeah, because if you're a WWE <laughs> fan and you go to Twitter and the number one thing you see is Seth Rollins naked or Seth Rollins dick or whatever the trending Ooh, tag would be, millions of people are going to see it. Yes, or however many people Correct. go on Twitter, right? But it just seemed to me that the wife was very quick to come out and put up nude photos of Seth. So she must have had some sort of proof that yeah, it was him. And, well, and I don't know. You don't need proof if you're a pissed off. I don't. Woman. I don't know that Seth. What I'm saying is, I don't yeah. know that Seth. Seth, his his Twitter account and Facebook and Instagram were hacked. Okay. Well, somebody had a theory on there that maybe she just had his phone. No, or or it could be that maybe she had his phone and or found a second phone that he had. Maybe it was yeah. his second phone. Maybe he's got his main phone. Or maybe phone he's and he had a Twitter phone. on her phone before. And she found. You know what I mean? You've ever done right. that on your friend's phone and you log in to check your Facebook? She or had the password. Whatever. Yeah. She had the password or something like that. And right before Raw, all of a sudden she's going through the phone yeah. and boom, she sees photos of a naked diva and she goes, "Wow." Look at this. Look at what he's been doing. Yeah. And she goes and posts it all over social media. I can tell media. you from personal experience in Florida, when people come to my house, mostly girls, they're so Facebook addicted 
right. my computer when it was all said and done had login to about twenty different chicks' Facebooks. Yeah, because they would come into my room. There'd be and people leave over. The password. They would like come into it. my room. Yeah. Hey, you mind if I check my Facebook real quick on your computer? Yeah, go ahead. And there's that little and box that says remember, "Remember Password." And I've always got to check, so all I have to do is double click if I get like my cookies deleted. Or right. All you got to do is double click the username box. Your username will pop down. You click and it, it. Comes up. And right. Your password will automatically go in. Right. But by the time all these. You know, my big social life, right when I moved from Florida and I had my computer, you could click the double username. You could double click the username thing and like 18 different emails would come down as usernames. Yep. Mostly girls who would come on and check my, their shit on my computer. Right, so right, maybe, right, right. maybe he checked his Facebook or Twitter on her phone or something and she had the login okay. saved or something. You know what I mean? That's and that, it very easily could have been that. You're and absolutely right. And she could go right. through his sent messages and see, who's this bitch sending naked pictures to my man on Twitter. Give me that letter back. And then, oh, my bad. And then she, you know, she sees that and then says, you know what? I'm going to embarrass him right before and Raw. She knows it's right live. before he Raw. So he can't yeah. do anything until after Raw. He probably can't even call that, her it during was probably Raw. Specifically it was timed. timed. It was timed for she that. Knows this three hour block of time, he's at work. Right. And he's on live TV. There ain't a whole lot he can do about it. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to run with that. Whoever said that, that maybe the, maybe the fiancé had his phone, he may have had a, either his phone or that he left at home, yeah. or a second phone that he had, where he's got two different phones, one's for her and the yeah, main people, and a second phone that phone. is for that, or log into her phone, or something like that, and she caught Some wind. Some people. She, he left his password somewhere, and she got wind of it, and finally said, oh, this can't look be at it this. Because it would... The, this wouldn't have happened, but some couples are so fucking paranoid that part of the deal in the relationship is you get my login, I get yours to Facebook. Something like you that. You got nothing to hide, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, you got to be really insecure. And, 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 right, right. Most people right. stand for that. Yeah. No one ever told me, I, hey, I, you, need, you give me your Facebook login or this is over. I'd be like, <laughs> nice I say it. Chick. Listen, I say it time and time again. But he wouldn't Don't knowingly do that if he knew he had pictures. Take yeah. nude Photos. Don't do it. No, no, Don't no, no. do it. Why? Everybody Why? does it, but the everybody them. does it. I would never do it. I would never do it. You've never. Maybe I've never done this, but it's, it's been in my mind. You would. Times. You would do it. I've done sexting. If a woman were to ask you, "Can I get a nude photo of you?" over a cell phone, I've done when it. you know yeah, that yeah, this yeah. stuff, you know that this stuff is going to be saved on their phone. Number one. Yeah. Number two, it goes They're to like an iCloud. Friends. Yeah. It goes to like an iCloud way up there somewhere yeah. in space where it's saved forever. Okay. You can't. If you take a nude photo of yourself... An iCloud is really a server in someone's basement. You know enough about technology. All right, that. all right. But if you take a nude photo of yourself, especially on a cell phone, yes. It's never going away because if the person you sent it if to, if you're a famous person, yeah. But if it's like me or you, you have I to be would about never it. take I've a done nude sex photo. And, and I, everybody's been curious at one point or another to film themselves having sex, to have a sex tape, just you know, just to watch yourself. Well, then get I've a video recorder and That's you can do point. that, or if not on a phone. cell phone, or if you use your phone. I've actually got a video on my phone right now. Where's my phone at? I don't want to see you having. It's not sex. me. It's not me. It's uh, these two people had sex at a party I was at. I, we kind of had them put on a sex show for us because they were such fucking skanky right, people. Right, right. They literally got just started fucking having sex right in the middle of the room. And we're all sitting there with our phones fucking recording. And Sounds shit. like College Fuck Fest. Do you ever see College Fuck Fest? No. It's I've heard awesome. of Bang Bus it's and amazing. stuff like that. But, uh, College Fuck Fest. Porn, uh, porn thing. It's awesome. You yeah, but the point out. being, if you're going to take naked pictures or videos, sex videos, whatever... Okay. If you're going to upload them to your computer, you know, because you could put a wire from your phone to your computer and burn it. Yeah, that's Then delete the it. Never. And then delete it. Don't leave it. That's the problem people I'm make. Sorry. Celebrities, etc. They'll do sexting or they'll just take naked pictures and they'll leave them in their phone. I am. How could you ever do that? I, if it was me, i rip it onto my computer, i delete it off my phone immediately. But immediately. it's on a computer. Your computer could get hacked. Your phone can get hacked. Very less likely for a computer. I, I wouldn't do it. I would not well, take nude photos. If you want to see me, if you're a woman, and you want to see me nude, I'm right here. You come on over to the house. We ain't doing it via cell phone. 
We're not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't send a nude it's photo a of myself. It's for people to get excited. They, she shows you. Then your come face. on over. I'm right here. Usually she's coming over. I'm not over. going anywhere. Usually she's coming over. I'm not taking photos of my excited cell phone. before she comes. She'll show your tits or something on a picture, and she'll be like, "I'll see you at two. I wouldn't do it. Two a.m. or something. And there's a picture of her tits with the caption, "See you in a few hours." I wouldn't. Ooh, I can't wait. You get excited, and then when she comes over, you've already been thinking about her big fucking tits because she sent you a picture of them. It's exciting. Okay. I wouldn't Some do people it. do it, but I I'm saying do delete it. it after the fact, at least. Or if you're going to save what it, What I'm saying it, is even if you phone. delete it, the photos are still out there somewhere. All right. They're out there somewhere. They ain't man. going nowhere. Nobody's looking for Joe Schmo's fucking left nut picture that he sent his girlfriend six years ago on his I iPhone. I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? If you're a celebrity, be careful as fuck. But if you're just a regular person, be careful because you don't want your other friends or family to find out or see it or whatever. But who cares if it's in the Can I ask you guys something in, in, the, in the, in the chat room? About. Have any of you guys ever taken nude photos? A lot of them are like 15 years old. On your phone and sent them to somebody? And would you do it? Would you do it? If you haven't, would you do it? I think even Have you age, done it? I think, even, in the I, chat think, room. I think even the age group of our fans, which is very young, that wouldn't be doing this shit, I think you'll still be surprised how many people say they have or they A lot of people are going to say yes? They, they'll either say I have. I think you're crazy if you say, say I yes. have or I will or I've thought about it or I do. One or the other. I don't think. I, I, I think a lot of people are going to say no. No, I haven't done it because they know the consequences. In the 80s and then we got no. If you do that. Nope. I have. All right, there's an I have. Me. A lot no. of no's. It's a lot of no's. Yeah, two yeses, three yeses. Somebody says, chill, Ryan, you sound old. Dude, you don't want to... I'm, I'm, it's reality. It's there's way more no's you don't yes, wanna, by the way. Good, good. Yeah. I'm I'm proud of you guys. Don't do it. There you go. I've had them sent it. to me, but I've never sent them. See, that, that's the kind of stuff. I'm proud I'm of you guys. Expecting. Don't do it. Yes, because all the time. It, all, it, all it's going to do is cause trouble if you ever break up. The woman's always going to have your photos, and you know, what is it? Have no, uh, like Hell a woman Hell hath no fury like a woman Hell scorned. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Yeah. Because if you ever break up with them, that woman's got your nude photos, and man, she is going to go out on Facebook so and what? Twitter. Well, you got your dick all over for your friends to see. Hey, this asshole, I got him nude. <laughs> and the woman goes out and... and I don't want my dick out there for all my First friends of all, to see. If it's just I don't want dick, that. If it's just a dick and your face ain't connected to it, you could say it's not mine. You could. That's a. Yeah. B, so what? Or you could use the Photoshop excuse that. You oh know, yeah, they Photoshop my head on, but you'd have to be really damn good because it would be obvious. I don't know. Don't take nude photo. It only causes trouble if you ever break up with a woman. It's stupid. It's just stupid to uh, to do. So, anyways, here's the deal. Here you Before go. John Morgan, he says, worst case scenario, she shows my dick to her girlfriends, and they are all like, "Oh my God, can I ride it next?" Let's what about it. your dude friends that are like, "Oh my God, I'm never gonna look at John Morgan the same way. I've seen his penis." Oh so what? So what? You oh never my fucking God! In high school, did you do the showers and stuff. Yeah, you never but catch a glimpse on accident of a dude's shit. Of course you have. Did you fucking look at them differently afterwards? No. I don't know. It's Grow up when you got photos and things. I'm ah, sorry. I'm not. You're not. Uh, there's no you're a celebrity. I agree. If you're a celebrity and people are actively looking for this person name their fucking naked pictures. Yeah, you need to be fucking smarter than fucking taking pictures. Leave there ain't phone. no nude photos of me out there, and there never will be. So if you're telling me fuck some it. hot fucking if Jenna back right, the day so didn't say, "Yo, can we do a little sex thing?" If Jenna sent him. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take him. She says, oh, no, take no, no, no. She wanted she's me? in Missouri. No. Just say she's in Missouri. All right. Says, right, I can't. I'm not coming home for another month, but I still want to have something going on. Let's call each other and send each other pictures. I say, I see you in 30 You're days. You're not going to do phone sex and exchange pictures? No, I'm not. She you to. I'm You're not. not. No. You're full of shit. No, I'm full of not shit. sending nude photos of myself. I'm not doing it. You're I'm not going to do it. shit. She's on the phone going, oh, Ryan, I'm so turned on. If you just send me a picture of yourself without a shirt on, or fucking send me a picture of your dick. You can wait 30 days. Wait, go to a porn site do it, do and, it and masturbate. Do, do, do it, it, it that way. Seconds. Not doing it. I'm sorry. Because I know what would happen if I ever split up with her, 
and 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 you can't think like that, man. You ha you you have to. You don't think of because ninety percent of the time relationships don't work out, and then the woman's got nude photos of you. Well, by your logic, and then what are you thinking? By your logic, ninety percent of the time relationships don't work out. So by your logic, you should never get in a relationship because ninety percent of the time it's going to end. Uh, it's just reality. A lot of times relationships don't work out. No shit. You can get that in a relationship. That doesn't mean you shouldn't live your life just because it might fucking go bad. I didn't say don't get in a relationship because it's going to end. Yeah, I'm don't saying take don't send cut. nude yeah. photos. <laughs> Because there's a very good possibility that the relationship may end. And that girl is always going to have nude photos of you. And if it ends, and you guys end on bad terms, that girl can take that photo and do whatever she wants with it. She can go on Twitter, Facebook. She can put it out there for everybody to Most see. Most girls would I don't do want that. that. I don't... Hey, women are crazy, man. Uh, if you women are crazy. you cheat on her or something, yeah. But even then, unless you got a small dick... Gives a fuck. Well, why would you care? I I don't want my friends, my male friends. It's almost friends. free advertising if you're fucking if you're proud of what you got, and if you're not, then yeah, maybe that's embarrassing. But either way, most most people have enough respect not to do that shit. So what happens? We've got. Of course, stuff. they show their friends. Hey, Marcy, look look at this shit. You know. Yeah, and you want that too? I don't see them posting on the internet. Well, you gotta expect that. Even yeah. times I've done the sex thing, I know for fucking goddamn sure, and I can even picture the friends that she would have shown it to. But you don't care. Who cares? Uh, who cares? So listen, we know you that spent too much time on. We know that this Seth, shit, stupid subject. Seth is at the SmackDown tapings tonight, yes. main event in SmackDown, and WWE's not punishing him for what, it. What, what happens when he goes home? <laughs> is all of his stuff out on the front lawn? Like, here's your stuff. I'm sure he's been. Where on are you the, going? I'm sure he's been on the phone with Zahara, whatever her name is, to find out what the fucking. Story Saying, is. do I fly home to my fiance, or yeah. can I do come live together? stay with you? Well, it's his fiance. I would. It doesn't mean they live together, but yeah, probably. I would say they probably, probably live. If yeah. it's his fiance and they're that far along into the relationship, I'm thinking well, that, that they probably well, home, live so together. It's easy to live with a woman if you're never home. Like, I'm hey, you can thinking. Move in with me. I'll see you every fucking Saturday. I'm thinking and that's about that, it. that when <clears throat> Seth gets home, now if I was Seth, I wouldn't even fly back home. I would say, "Fuck you! You put my photo up. I'm a celebrity. Keep in mind, you put my photo up. It's out there now for wrestling fans. I." I want nothing to do with you. We are we are no longer engaged. We're done, and I'm going to see Zara or, or whatever. It would be a much more defensive approach if he likes the girl, at least. He'd be like, I swear, that picture, that naked chick, I, I don't even know how that got on my phone. I, it would be something like, hum and hum and hum and hum and hum and hum and Basically, so, what, so my question to you is, yes. after tonight's is SmackDown tapings, after, after tonight's SmackDown tapings, yeah. Seth has got to fly home. He's got to go somewhere. Yeah, is he somewhere. flying? Is he flying home to his fiance or oh. former fiance? Or, or can they work this out? Or is Seth going I'm sure to all of home And they've probably got like a face-to-face -face thing planned. Like, I'll, well, when we get there, we'll talk more about it. When you come home, we'll talk more about it. I think it. it's too late now. That she, she didn't. There, a couple of hours went by, and she was boom. I'm putting this photo up yeah, but for that could be a, to see. That could be an impulse reaction where she got one of her friends convinced her of something that he did, and then oh motherfucker, and then uh, you you want to fuck with me? I'll fuck with you. Well, if you're set, you're thinking impulse reaction or not? Fuck you. Yeah. We are done. We are done. You put True. that up for millions and of now, wrestling fans to see. It's up there forever. It's never It's never going away. You know how many millions or th thousands of wrestling fans saved that photo last no night? Shit. It'll live on the internet forever. And now there's you know how many you thousands point. of wrestling fans have that photo on their computer and there's, it ain't going nowhere? There's where you have a point where I'm over here saying who cares, big deal. If you're a celebrity, yeah, you do not want millions of people seeing your naked fucking dick on a goddamn picture. Nobody wants that. I don't He's want got that. it. Nobody wants that. So yeah, maybe he is like, "Fuck you, bitch. You went too far. I don't care." If We're you're done. Fine, you know? Yeah. We're so, done. Yeah. You know I mean, it, it would be a great reality show to see what the fuck happens when he comes home. I can see the headline now, man. Seth Rollins and fiance Seth split. Seth Rollins snaps and fucking <laughs> beats the shit out of this beats woman. Beats the shit out of yeah. her when he gets home or something like that. God, man. Not that I, we can do that. We were just laughing like that. I feel good. bad for the guy. I feel bad for the guy. But he also cheated on his fiance. It looks, it looks that way. Just because he's got a fucking picture of some chick naked? If the chick is sending naked photos to Seth Rollins, she you know they're banging. She could be trying to get with him. You know they're banging. She could be trying to get with him. 
Listen, it if sounds she's... like some Rosa Mendez total diva shit. Oh, I'm gonna send him you're a picture. You're a dude. You're I'm a dude. I'm gonna send him a picture of my naked body. And Wait a minute. And Wait a minute. I have to have it. You're a, you're a dude. Yeah. You know that if a woman is sending nude photos, you know damn well he's already been with Not that. Not necessarily. Or if he hasn't already been with that, he's gonna be with it in a couple of days. Now there, you might have something. But it doesn't prove shit about cheating. It could be a chick trying to allure a guy in, especially if she knows he's in a relationship. If you show him a photo of what he could be having fun with... I'm sure he's lured he in. he sees it in his brain, and he sees it, and he's like, Oh, God, I could be having fun with this right now. Then, yeah, maybe he'd go fucking... I think, I think... Just judging, because he has the photo doesn't mean he's cheated, though. Judging by that photo last night, I think Seth is already reeled in. <laughs> she she reeled him in with that one photo. Right and now, man, I have to really be in love. Somebody sends a picture of me like that and says, Hey, this is waiting for you over at 19 <laughs> Boulevard. You're headed over to 19 Boulevard. I'll be there in 10. <laughs> I'm going to grab some wine or something on the way. Fuck yeah, I'll be there. All right, listen, we got to get into Monday Night Raw. Let me get these That's why she I wanted to know what her name was. If she's one of the NXT divas she's that, got we, the would, tattoos that too. we would know by name. Like her NXT diva name is what? Zahara? She hasn't been called up to the main roster but yet. But they didn't give her a gimmick name? Not yet, because okay. she's still training well, down there's some at, at training the, chicks that the, still there have already got their names. See. Yeah, but they were working on the indie scene Ooh. before they came oh, into okay. uh, the okay. WWE. And they're going to change those names. So this is names. a brand new, fresh... Brand new chick. Okay. Fresh... Fresh meat. All right. <laughs> All right, let me well, get this fucked out of the way. If Rollins is putting a fucking hurt on her already. What time is it? 8.40? All right, we got about 20 minutes to run down Monday Night Raw from last night. Coming back, our numero dos, taking your rapid-fire questions, and going to finish up Monday Night Raw, and we'll try to get some uh, some phone calls on here as well tonight. You we got to try and get a couple calls. Seth Rollins, yeah, you can uh, call yeah, up an hour numero dos. So, here we go. Um, The official uh, website, the official home of WZRT, Tuesdays, WZRonline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZRArmy, YouTube.com slash WZRArchive. We're on Twitter as well. Oh. Go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab. It's got a drop-down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZRonline.com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. We've also got a live chat room on and in progress right now. WZR Online.com. Slash chat. WZR Online. Com. Motherfucking dot com, bitch. Slash chat. WZR Online. Dot com. Slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your plugs. I know we joke around a lot, but if we're being all in honesty, in all honesty, Big Vito made us. So just so you know. <coughs> it's not like you get to do a spit take when you're drinking your beer. <laughs> he loves it. How's his lawsuit going? I don't know. He's getting more media than he's ever got in his life. He's probably... <laughs> Every uh, night he's fucking sure he whacking is. himself to Taking sleep. nude photos Oh, I was on local NBC tonight. <laughs> he loves it, bro. He loves he's it. He's sending fucking sex and pictures to the reporters he's talking to. Sure he is. Hey, yo, this is the fucking biggest dick to ever be in a dress on WWE TV. Something like that. I don't like him. <laughs> uh, I wanted to have him on so bad because he's relevant. And, yeah. and he reminded me that, I don't know if you guys remember, you talked about it on the air last year. They had that big fucking blow up and shit. I think it was over that I made you, you guys know, in all seriousness, I made you guys. Blah, blah, blah. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. If anything, we At kept... least you feel the same way that I do. About I'm it. honest. I call it bluntly like I see it. Blatantly, bluntly, fucking no holding back how I see it, and he's full of shit if he thinks he had anything, anything to do with our career. If anything, we kept his name relevant for a couple of years while he was nothing. You know? He would call us and ask us to plug this, to plug that, and I always did it. I would always put news. Yo, I'm the new European website. Iron Man champion. Can you guys promote the fact that I won the big title? I would. What is the always, fuck is a European Iron Man champion? It's a big always. deal over here. And, and okay. I, I do the same on, thing we'll, now we'll for Sunny Man, it. for Tammy. Whenever yeah. she needs something, I put it up on the website. Thousands of people yeah, view it. Mad shit about her on the air. If she ever saw any of this shit, she'd fucking hate you. No, she wouldn't. She <laughs> likes people that that speak their mind. She, All right. Well, then I'm, me and me and her, her would get along. You would beautifully. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that would be awesome. Speaking of, I'll send her. Sexy speaking pictures. of, speaking of taking photos yeah. and nude photos and things like that. 
Have you seen those photos? I don't know what you're talking about yet. Of Tammy? Which ones? Sonny? The ones? The nude photos? Which From ones? the Skype chat? Oh, no, I don't, I don't think I have. You haven't seen those photos yet? It's topless, not nude. No, nude, nude. The whole thing. The whole shebang. Oh, that would that would. You haven't seen those no, photos yet. I'm pretty I sure I would. Got them in my seen. email. I think uh, Ryan from the uh, from the chat room. Rygo? Yeah. No yeah. shit. I think he. Rygo did a, uh, a chat with Sonny. I don't know if it was him that took the screenshots of the photos, but <laughs> the screenshots were out. The screenshots were out. Rygo jerking off to Sonny on it. No, I, I I think somebody somebody sent it to or he's on the internet and he got them. He got the screenshots, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. But I got him. I got him in I'll my have inbox. To check those out. But is she fat or is she skinny again? No, it doesn't. the 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 body part doesn't look all that bad. Well, when you get to the the part, yeah, yeah, it's beat up. A fifty year old pussy. She's hey, not fifty, dude. What is she? 45? 43, 44, maybe? Between 40 and I'm 50. I'm just guessing. She could be well, 50 for all you I know what happens see. down there when you get older. Okay, it doesn't but stay well, tight and, you know, you know. So what? But, all right. Does, does doesn't she look, look good. Does she look good? No. She doesn't have much makeup on uh, uh, in what? the face. Does she look good? Is she fat? Uh, does, uh, have you seen photos of Not Tammy recently, in the no. last? No. I know she got hot for the Hall of Fame. She got in shape again. She looked great. Fucking amazingly great. With a, but with, she with gained about again. five layers of makeup on that face. Who cares? You and the makeup. But all right. So is she fat or skinny in these pictures? She's not fat. She's not skinny. She in she's, shape. Uh, she, she's all right. So she's probably looking good as fuck then. <laughs> yeah. For her age too. I'm Tammy. Bad. Tammy Sitch in 2015. <laughs> when you put it like that, yeah. ain't, ain't looking good, right. dude. <laughs> hey, bro, when was her Hall of Fame? 2011, 2010, 2012, something like that? She looked great to me, man. Yeah, she looked well. awesome. No, she did look good there. She looked fucking But she's also awesome. got a professional makeup artist backstage at the Hall of Fame, WWE's makeup person. You're talking she's about her back. cheekbones because of the makeup. I'm talking about she looked uh, good. Boy. The whole fucking thing looked uh, good. Would you hit that right now? Fuck yes. If she you would... I'm picturing the Hall of what? Fame, Sonny. The Hall of Fame, Sonny. Yeah. Would I hit that? Yeah. I, I would pay to hit that. Yeah. What about today? I don't know what she looks like today. I'm asking. I don't think you'd hit it. I don't think you'd hit it. But I yeah. probably would, just because of, like, nostalgia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Knowing that I'm banging yeah. Sonny right now. I would be I'm picturing, banging Sonny I'd be picturing right 97 now. Sonny while I'm, you know, I'd have my, you know, the lights <laughs> turned off, eyes closed, and picture 97 Sunny and just feeling around and stuff, but yeah. I guess, dude. <laughs> Alright, what'd you think of Monday Night Raw last night? I gotta, I gotta say, the rating came out. Wow. It dropped. 2 7. By, is that the final? 2 7. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. I didn't see the final two rating. 2.72, I believe is what it was. You're positive? Yeah. 2 7? Yes. Down wow. from 3.03 or something like that. Yeah. I know it dropped 600,000 people. Yeah, it was down three tenths Dude. of a point in the rating. 3.03 to 2. And do you know that the week yeah. before that was the week they were at uh, at Titan Tower? Yeah, the, the Titan Towers. Yeah, yeah, WB headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it went up. It was like a 3.1 or a 3. Three, two, that number was up. The next week's was damn near the same. Oh and then man! This week, yeah, we dropped by almost like a, like seven hundred thousand viewers. Or something. It was almost seven hundred thousand yeah, people. So damn near a million homes, or not a million homes, damn near a million people probably. A two seven. Yeah. A two seven. Two wow. seven, bro. All right, we had uh, Nitro in their oh final my days. God, right dude. there, man. Wow. That's Nitro near the end in ratings. <laughs> yeah. Dude. All right. We had Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. They were right? begging us in the chat not to do a full Raw rundown, by the way, just so you know. Multiple people were begging us. Yeah? Them. Yes. I don't want to do a full I don't either. Raw rundown. So let's just hit the really only important shit. In the All right. Room. We'll do the opening segment, closing segment, and... Opening the... segment, we learned that Roman Reigns still can't cut a promo. Still can't cut a promo. I mean, he's fumbling words. He's slushing. He made a flashing. huge... Huge fumble. Yes. Um, I don't remember what it was, but he completely screwed up. <laughs> and then, like, a couple seconds later, he well, screwed up again. 
and yeah. just his whole demeanor throughout the whole promo. He didn't seem confident in what he was saying. He seemed like a guy trying to remember his... He wasn't cutting jokes here, though. He seemed like a guy trying to remember his scripted words, which is what kills these guys. They're not actors. Or, you know, they are entertainers, but they're not actors. Right, right, you know what I mean? right, They're right, athletes right. That, that try and entertain. That doesn't mean they have the ability to memorize lines, deliver them in a convincible fat. You know what I mean? And Roman Reigns, when he first came out, Got that initial pop when when the music hit, but then it was I would say like a sixty forty mix of more booze. He did not get an initial pop when that music hit. It was a mixed reaction as soon as the music hit. I think the music hit was the first big guy out to open Raw. It was the only I mean, thing. It was the first thing that started on Raw. Yeah, he got that pop from the Raw. Was, dun, dun, and then he comes out, and it right. was. A loud noise as a loud the first noise. pop, right. and it immediately became half people going boo, and the other half just cheering. They booed him. And then when the music died, it got noticeably him. louder, the boos. And he's doing subtle heel turn things. Yes, his facial expression a lot. I Dude, at the end of Raw, the way he did with yeah, Daniel Bryan, you know what I mean? Yeah. Last week we talked about it, like he's doing subtle turns. Speaking of Daniel Bryan, yeah. uh, Daniel Bryan comes out here, right? And then followed by the authority, Triple H and Stephanie came out, right? Triple H gets involved. Yes. He says, tonight there's going to be a tag team match. Um, you guys are going to be involved and you're going to take on the team of... This guy and this guy, and uh, I think they did that Big Sean right. Kane. Big Sean Did Kane. you see the sign in the crowd that said "Reigns equals mid '90s Nash"? Really? Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. is. I never thought really about it like is. that. He's the same thing. He's a big guy. That's a good-looking guy. That's convincibly a badass because of his look. Yeah, I see. That it. they're fucking I see it. shoving immediately up to the main event way early into his run, just right. like Nash. Right, right, right. It's crazy. It's the exact same thing almost. And Nash did not work out in the end. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And who would have knows? Because he ended up leaving to go to WCW and he worked out. Oh, well, I mean, they did the NWO thing with Nash. And, but that was WCW. WWE. Right, right. They gave him the world title. They had him beat Bob Backlund for the title at a house show. Hey. In like nine seconds. I do need to say something. MSG, yeah. Uh, Triple H he was got the talking. first Triple Crown champion, I think. Triple H got talking about, what have you done, Daniel, right? What, you put some guy in a casket or something like that a couple of weeks ago? And Daniel oh, Bryan man. had a line, dude, where he came back and he's like, I thought you would, uh, I thought you'd like the casket thing. Uh, considering what you've done in the past, he said, with people in caskets. I think it was Stephanie. And it was clearly a Katie Vick yeah, reference. It was Stephanie, but, I think, dressing him down, and they said Reigns didn't. You didn't even win. You don't deserve it because you didn't even win the Royal Rumble, right? Without the Rock, blah blah blah. And then Daniel, you just were in a casket match, and you locked somebody in a casket. How you know? You Big deal, up? right? And Brian was like, first of all, you put me in a casket. Right, right, right. And second of all, I would say what I did with the casket compared to what you did, Triple H, in the right. casket, you guys would consider a fate, or, a, you know... What I did, yeah. Uh, uh, and he was clearly addressing the Katie Vick thing, where clearly. Yeah, there's a lot of fans that might not know what Katie Vick is. Oh, you gotta remember, God, that was dude. about... 13 years ago. You should tell people what Katie God, Vick is. Katie Vick was a dummy that was in a... Uh, and everything. Katie Vick was a dummy that was in a casket, and Triple H basically did simulated sex on a dead... On a, on it a was a dead Triple person. H cane feud at the time. If I'm trying to remember it, because I know he wore the cane mask. It was a Triple H cane feud. I want to say something like cane accidentally burned his wife alive, Katie, right. <laughs> Katie Vick. And she died. Yeah, so she's she in a died. casket. She was in a casket at ringside. Yeah. The casket open. Not at ringside. It was a pre-taped thing, like in a funeral parlor. And Triple H climbs but into the But they only the brought Katie Vick to ringside when Kane would be fighting. Yeah, but the actual incident, yeah, 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 yeah. The actual incident was pre-taped at like a funeral parlor or something, and it was Triple <laughs> H in a fucking thong speedo. You know what I mean? With his ass cheeks and everything. He's wearing right. a cane mask. Right. And he's doing necrophilia. He's fucking he's fucking a dead chick. He was fucking the dead chick. He's all Katie yeah. Bay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked like Val Venus with a mask on almost because he was showing so much. And Val yeah. Venus would always do the right. horror star thing. Right. And, yeah, he's wearing the cane mask and he's humping the fucking dead body. You ain't never seen it. You got to go to YouTube and Google, like, uh... Or Just YouTube by uh, Triple Katie H, Vick. Katie Vick, yeah. or something like that. It'll come up. And you'll see Triple H having sex with Maybe the most tasteless dead. thing they've ever done. It was that disgusting. Is, I don't want to start making a list because we've gone forever. It was a but. dummy. It was a, a, a woman dressed yeah. up, but it was Triple H basically banging a dead Correct. chick. Yes, it was... 
pretty fucking crazy, dude. It's bad. <laughs> All right, we had... Uh, so Brian referenced that, and then the uh, opening right. segment led to the tag match. Tag match which takes came place. up, yeah, and uh, like if we're skipping through, we don't even need to talk about the tag match. Yeah, whatever. What else happened under Ross? Seth Rollins against Ryback. Yeah, uh, Ryback's really back there. again, right? Uh, Brie Bella Page, that was the Divas match. One of the Divas matches we yeah. had. Yeah. Uh, Rusev uh, did a tribute to uh, to John Cena Anything last night. Anything there that was worth talking about? No, there was one thing where their microphone at the beginning was fucking up, and I'm like, all right, yeah, the flag incident the yeah. previous week, and now the microphone's fucking up. But I, it looked like the microphone was just a... Uh, a an accident? A, an accident? Well, supposedly was it a rip? Supposedly that's all the flag was last week, and they just covered it up so well that people thought it was part of an angle. Right. So my thoughts when, they, when the mic was cutting out was that... To even further cover up the mistake Trying with the flag, like every week something little fuck up will happen with him. Yeah, or to ribbon him. And well, that too, but like some little fuck up will happen and they'll, and they'll say, well, Cena's doing it or something. I don't know, you know? Yeah, something like that. Um, We had Dolph Ziggler and uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, so Bray basically the guys one. that are coming back, Dolph Ziggler goes against Bray. We had uh, Seth Rollins and Ryback. Ryback, Dolph Ziggler back on Raw, yep. getting him back. And Eric Rowan, but he didn't do anything. Paul Heyman. What do you think of Paul Heyman? I just went to the store with Dan, yeah. okay? And he said that the Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar stuff, he couldn't stand. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, Paul Heyman is the best thing on what Raw does he like? every single week. He loved the Sting segment. He said he loved the Sting. And, and granted, the Sting segment was good, but I agree with what Jim Ross said in a blog today where he said... He liked this thing stuff, looking up to the rafters and the lights would go yes. out. Where is he? But that last bit with a clearly fake sting yeah. in the ring. And granted, the only reason that they use, don't be looking into this like, oh my God, who's playing the fake sting? I know oh your my face God. blew up last night Who is it? people like, yeah, yeah. Who's playing the fake sting? Listen, there's no fake sting. No. They wanted people to believe that that was the real sting in there, which is why they only flashed the lights on real quick and then right back off. There is no fake sting. Correct. It was basically Sting has a limited amount of dates on his WWE contract. They don't want to bring him in for a segment like that. They don't want to waste and use yeah. use one date that way. So they had somebody dressed up as Sting just to further the storyline. I've heard that it was Bo Dallas that was doing. A lot of people are saying Heath Heath uh, Slater. He's got red hair. Yeah, Bo but Dallas has the black hair. Yeah, I don't know yeah, whoever it was. It doesn't right. matter. But it was clearly a guy in a wig even. Um. Because they didn't want to waste the segment. They didn't want to waste but the... But look at uh, the Paul right. Heyman, Brock Lesnar thing, which is what we're on right now. You're skipping ahead to this thing. Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar. Brock mm-hmm. Lesnar didn't do anything. Nothing. He stood there while Heyman spoke for four minutes, and, and then we never saw neither one of them again. Paul the Heyman. But my point is, yeah, they got to pay Lesnar every time his face is on that TV, every time he travels to a city. Why would they waste one of his yeah. very few Why? bookings Why? on that? He didn't do anything. Right. He didn't right. say a word. He didn't change his facial expression. He just stood there while Heyman talked. Stood there they could have had Heyman minutes. do that without Lesnar, right. and it wouldn't have made it. They wasted but you know Lesnar's what? They do, on they do have Heyman do that week after week, so maybe you know this week they thought, all right, we're getting close to the paper. They had Lesnar well, last two weeks. Week. They had him in the studio for yeah, the one thing. Right, they had him right. next week, I think, after that. You're right. They don't need him again right now. So why waste it? He's not, Heyman's he's promo? not doing anything in fast lane. Either. How about Heyman's promo? Heyman's promo. Listen, the segment was awesome. Good, man. It was amazing. And I hate coming on here every week and saying we trash this, we trash that, and then when it comes to Heyman, oh, he's great. Because then we sound like typical internet marks. Oh, anything Heyman does is great. Anything everybody else does sucks. It just so happens that anything Heyman does is great. Right. And a lot of what everything else is sucks. Like, I can't help stuff. it. Right, 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 right. Heyman's problem was awesome. Just basically putting over Brock Lesnar for the Fast Lane pay per view and WrestleMania, saying that no matter who he faces, what was whether it be about? Roman Reigns or Daniel Bryan. Oh, the liar thing. Him. That was the big thing. Because he did the Brian Williams. Uh, Special on the WWE Network. Nobody's taking shots at Brian Williams. Spend too much this time thing on that. happened in here. 2003, yeah. man. Everybody's bringing it up now. Let the dude go. He won. Oh, this was he from made 2003. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. it was recent. So this is a 12 year old thing that they're making all these thing, stories. And everybody found out that Brian wasn't really in the helicopter. That Brian got Williams, shot. NBC News he was, anchor. He yeah, was yeah. the one behind it, right? The first helicopter in front got shot at. Brian's didn't. Brian said yeah. that he got shot at. Wasn't his helicopter happened 13 years ago or 12 years ago, something like that, and um, let him go. He's you know uh, let it be. That's crazy. Let it 
speed. But anyways, man. yeah, Heyman was let it go, uh, let it go, let it go. Elsa, that song. Elsa, let it be, and if it ever, let it be. Guy doesn't know who Elsa no, is. No, there's another song. Let her cry. That's the Beatles. Let it be. Let it be. No, that's the Beatles. Let it be. It's a country song I'm thinking of, I think. But, uh. Okay. Anyways, um. The no. Grammys were on this past Sunday night. Yeah, I know. Uh, Kanye West who got was up there? on stage. Back won uh, Best Album of the Year. Kanye West got up on stage again. And then at the, at the after show. He said, Beyonce should have got it. Beyonce should have got right, it. Yeah. He wasn't joking. On the after show... I do that. You said he was joking. He was joking when he came up on stage, and okay. he looked around, and everybody laughed. But then on the after show, there was like a, a post-Grammys type thing. Yeah. They were interviewing people, and he said that Beyonce should have got it once again, and Beck should respect that Beyonce should have got it, and he, he should have turned the award over, over to Beyonce. Beyonce so. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Um, no... The whole point of this liar thing yeah. was that he was referencing Brian Williams and basically said, "These guys, the only people that are bigger liars than Brian Williams is Daniel Bryan right. and Roman Reigns, because they're lying to themselves if they think either if one of them stands they can a chance at beating my beast." Yeah. Right, right. Exactly. By the way, David Otunga was the name I was trying to think of. He was at the Grammys was with Jennifer, uh, Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, right, right. right. And Kanye West was, or no, it was Jamie Fox photo bombed them. Okay. They took a picture and like Jamie Box is like right in the middle in the background, yeah, like making a face and yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh the new day against Goldust and Cody. Clearly they're doing Goldust and Cody split. Clearly they're Clearly doing a Miz Sandow split. Uh, those matches are gonna happen probably we'll let, at WrestleMania. Next week is the go home show for Fastlane. One of those splits is gonna happen next week and they're gonna That's add a match say. to uh All the right. they could. Do you know one Fastlane? We're supposed to type it as one word now. Are we? Really? Yeah. Without the capital L and Lane? Yeah. Really? Really separate. It's not fast lane. It's fast lane, like one word. The new day it's thing. So stupid because it's the not one The new day word. thing is clearly a ripoff of that YouTube video. I put it up on my Facebook page yeah. last night of the guy saying, I'm, no I'm, more. I'm not gay no more. I'm, I'm not, not gay no I don't, more. I don't love men's no more. Yeah, yeah. men's. I don't, I don't love men's no more. Men's, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'm not going to wear makeup. And then you I'm got, not going to carry a purse. And then you got Big E yeah. coming out going, it's a new day. It's a new day. As in, it's a new day. I'm not going to like men's no more. I like women now. It's a complete, it's a complete ripoff of the game. It's a new day. The dude's not going to like gays no more. He don't like men no more. It's a new day. I think the pasture, even at one point during the, the video. The pasture. Past, pastor. 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 Pasture. P A S T O R. Yeah. How do you get pasture out of that? Pasture is where the cows go. Yeah, you said pasture. I even said the pasture says. The pastor at yeah. one point says, It's a new day. It's a new day. I he don't like gays no more. I yes, he does. I don't know if he does. We'll go back and watch the I other remember you saying that he does. I don't remember hearing it, but. He does. He does during the way. Video. It's a fucking. It's a it's stereotype a of any off. black, very religious pastor guy. It's a take off. And the guy that's Slick doing it to black, be that way back in the day. Biggie's the same. Hey, baby. You know, Biggie, Slick. black, and it's just. It's, right. all, it's a whole right. take off thing of. Biggie and the guy with It's a New Day. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We had Triple H uh, calls out Sting. This is what we talked about earlier yes. with the uh, the whole Sting segment. Looking up in the rafters. Lights keep going out. The crow keeps... Wah, wah. That part of the that whole cool. Sting presentation and done it every time that he's appeared so far. Right. I love it. The, the, the lights go off and you just hear... Rah, rah, rah. Right, I right, think right. that's cool. They never did cool. that in WWE. It is cool. But did they, nice need to, did they need to have the fake Sting? No. It in. serves no purpose. No purpose. It? Jim Ross said in his blog, and I said it to you as we were watching it, I said all day, because they kept... You weren't watching, so you never see this shit. But actually, I got you to watch enough of it to see this part. They would flash to the fucking screen, and it would be a vignette, and it would be like old stuff. Triple H talking to Michael right, Cole right. in a sit-down interview, and all of a sudden, the Sting face paint would cover Triple, cover H's, Triple face, H's face, like a reflection, right. like a shadow right. almost. Right, right, right. And then it'd shoot back to Triple H, and, you know, and then this and that, and this and that, and this and that, and then it was Sting <coughs> writing out letters, you challenged me, or something. I don't even know what it was. Not important. But then at the very end, after the thing, after this thing popped up behind him, disappeared, and then they shot back to the thing. It said I, A C C E P T. I accept. Right. Each letter came. You know. I accept. They could have done the same exact thing without the guy appearing behind him, the fake thing, and it would See, have the same impact. See, that's the thing. 
Triple H looks up to the rafters. The lights come back on. He looks up again. Where is he? Where is he? Right? The lights yeah. are shining. And then on the screen it says, I accept. But that whole fake sting thing, it wasn't needed. I think Leave the it idea, at that. I think the idea Leave it at that. is that he's such a mysterious character he can appear out of nowhere. Like the one week it looked like a picture of him on the screen. Right, right. The picture moved and it was him. Right. They're giving him... And we've been talking about this for weeks now where all these like who was it, Dean Ambrose or somebody hidden under bricks next to the announce oh, wow. tables at the ring and right, magically right. he's gone when they, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. Bray Wyatt is a hologram that magically appears at, <laughs> at Hell in a Cell. Oh, you got the hiccups. At Hell in a Cell. I'll tell you what, i tell you what, listen. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back. We're going to finish up life. Monday Night Raw. We want your rapid fire questions. You can submit rapid fire questions <laughs> by going to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Put them in a rapid fire question. One line only. So one line with your question. Not these long, drawn out, whole paragraph things. One question, one line. What do you think of this question mark? What do you think of this question mark? One line, one thing. Facebook.com slash. Ryan Clark, oh. WZR. We're going to put that up during the commercial break. We're going to be back on the flip side. We're going to be taking your rapid fire questions. We're also going to finish up Monday Night Raw from last night. Talk about the main event and your live phone calls as well. If you want to call up in our numero dos, live phone number to call is 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. <laughs> Wait until we're into our numero dos. We're taking your live phone calls. 518-712-3070. And rapid fire. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. You're listening to WZR TV Tuesdays with Matt Boone. Who's got the hiccups? Uh, and Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this. Uh, goes on a tour of... Abu Dhabi. Yes. All right. Saudi Arabia, right? And, you know, over in India, um, and, and places like Abu Dhabi... Um, Saudi Arabia. And right? even in America. Okay. I believe. Even in... I believe I can fly. Even in... I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Go ahead. Even in Spread my no, I'm America, <laughs> um, you know, there are still <laughs> places that look down upon gay marriage. Uh, you can have your thoughts. I can have my thoughts. Boone can have his thoughts. And, and a lot of, you know, different people do have their thoughts. Should it be legal? Should it not be legal? Um, you can debate that all day. But the fact of the matter is, in Abu Dhabi... Uh, where WWE tours, uh, they do not believe in gay marriage. So is Darren Young not allowed to work? Very against their policies. So Darren Young... Oh, really? I uh, was joking. ...sent wow. out a tweet and basically said, why do we take the best entertainment uh, to a place like Abu Dhabi where they this? don't believe in men and gays marrying each other. Don't they not allow the divas? Because you can't say you're a woman. This is the same country yeah. that they look down upon women. No divas women. matches because you're not allowed to show your face if you're a woman in the country, right? So he puts this up on, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, Right, they all have to have a scarf over their, yeah, their face. That's so the woman diva up, thing. Okay. Why do we take the best entertainment in WWE overseas to places like Abu Dhabi, where they don't allow men and women to marry for free? You want the answer? The uh, post later gets because they make deleted. money, douchebag. And he puts yeah. he puts hashtag millions of dollars. Yeah. Okay. That's why they do it. Millions of dollars. He knows then. What is he asking? So the tweets then get deleted and he follows up with two more tweets. The first tweet Smoke. saying I apologize my freedom of speech has been taken away. Arrest oh. in peace freedom of speech. Oh. He then sends out another tweet and he says I feel like no one has my back. The struggle is real. Well, they'll get fired soon. So it seems to me like he put up a tweet 
somebody from WWE management saw it, yes. said, take that tweet down. He said, I'm a gay man. Why can't I have that tweet up? They told him, take it down. That's what he said? Well, I, I'm. This is my theory. Doing it. Okay. This is my theory right, uh, well, that somebody didn't. probably called him and he no, said, no, no, gave definitely it. somebody Why? told him to take it down. He took That's it down. The, I can't have he my He then speech. followed up with two different tweets that are very transparent, anti WWE, if you will. Uh -huh. Where he says the he never mentions WWE, but he says my freedom of speech. That's where it's has been taken you away. You tell what he's saying. You, you know? tell what he's talking about. Yeah. Uh, but he never mentions WWE specifically. Well, who else? Says, my my, 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 yeah. my freedom of speech has been taken away, and he says uh, I can't stand it. People are always telling me what to do. The struggle is real. Um, so he's, he may he's not gonna get fired. He may not be around for much longer, but then I guarantee you, if he gets fired, what is the first thing he's gonna come out and yes, say? Yes, but what WWE they will fire do, me because I was gay. They won't. That is. They what won't fire him after something like this. They'll wait a couple months from now when they're getting ready to do roster cuts, and this will still be in their mind. Like, let's finally get rid of this fucker. It's and he way will come out. It's been two years after he came out of the closet. <coughs> can't blame us for firing him because he's gay. We he left him on the roster out. for two years. I bet you. I bet you. When they release him. We said it when he I, first came out of the closet to TMZ. Before WrestleMania last year, I think. Mm -hmm. We said they won't fire him now because it's a fucking fresh story. And they won't even fire him anytime soon. The less, at least let him chill around for a year or two so that when he is fired, he can't blame it on his sexuality. And that's exactly what, when this shit happens, like you're talking about, when he may, alright, if you're gay, you're gay, whatever. Pat Patterson's gay, he doesn't make a big fucking thing out of it, that's why he's able to stick around. But if you're gonna be fucking gay and then make all these issues because of your gayness, eventually the management's like, do we really need this fucking headache right now? We're going to uh, uh, Abu Dhabi for a tour. Do we really need our own talents telling us we're stupid? Right. For going to Abu Dhabi and making money because we're a business and we can make money over there. All right, they're fucked up culture. They got fucked up laws. We don't agree with them, but we will take their money. Shit. And then we got this employee of ours who works for us openly on our fucking account that we promoted on Twitter, talking shit about our own fucking business model. How often or how long do we need to put up with this shit before we say, all right, let's let's fire this fucking guy and get it over with? Right. You right. know. All right, um, back to uh, Monday Night Raw. We had Cesaro and Tyson Kids against the Usos. That was whatever. Uh, we had Miz Douse and Cara. They announced that on the pre-show that that was going to happen. That was a funny match. We had uh, Axel out there cutting a promo. Yes, hashtag Axelmania was his big campaign. He wanted to start, and uh, <laughs> yeah, Dean Ambrose well, came they, out again. Did it ever trend on, uh, on I didn't Twitter last night? They didn't Probably announce not. it because of the yeah. Rollins thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, so I don't know, but... Uh, well, I just spilled Sounded beer. like a spill. He spilled All beer. All over man. myself, yeah. He peed himself. By the way, let me say one more thing. Uh, back to uh, back to Darren Young. You when think they... when that happens, you spill a drink like in school, if you're at lunch in high school, yeah. you spill a drink in your lap, and then everybody, oh, hey, man, peed himself. Uh, yeah, I peed my, I, clearly right. I spilled a drink, you right. dickhead. Oh, hey, man, peed himself. It's a very funny joke. High school shit. Yeah. Back to uh, the you know uh, one thing I will say is when Darren Young when he when he eventually is get, does get released because he I, let's be honest I mean the guy's the first not card going he's gonna anywhere. pull yeah. the first card he's gonna pull is you know I was gay and I was always discriminated upon in WWE they always discriminated yes. against me they never wanted to push me because of it the only time they pushed me is when I came out on TMZ yes. they gave me a couple of weeks on TV and then I haven't been used since. Even that's then, he was the, part of a tag team. That's the first yeah. car there. He got injured. Had. That's why he's been gone off TV. True, so long. But true. But remember when Chris Canyon yeah. was on the Howard Stern show talking yeah. shit, and they said, yeah. and he's right, man. I, I forgot until he came out and said all this stuff. They had him dress up like Boy George. Yeah, yeah, like Boy George, right? A gay, right. famous singer guy from uh, that band. What, Darren Young, band, dude. The, Darren Young is. It's it's going to be the same. I bet you what I what I was trying to say earlier is Darren Young. When they release him, yeah. maybe they'll wait until his contract expires, and then they can have him sign an agreement that says, you uh, kind of like they did with CM Punk. And, no, or they wanted they tried. CM Punk. Del Rio did. signed it. Punk Del Rio didn't. signed it. Punk didn't. Yeah. But like Del Rio, Which where they Which is a non-disparagement. Uh, and that's exactly yeah, 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 yeah. where it is. Where when he leaves WWE, you, can't, you, you basically can't talk, talk bad about it. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. talk bad. I bet you. 
they will have Darren Young sign something like that because you know damn they'll make well. him an, a financial offer. Right? Like, yeah, we'll give you a fucking two hundred grand parting. You know, if you, if you do not if you talk, if you sign this paper, if you sign it, and it says you cannot disparage against us, exactly. When you leave, I, so non I bet you, clause. I bet yeah. you, they make him because if not, he will come out and he will be totally against WWE. They've they learned their lesson from Chris right. Canyon, right. from Orlando Jordan. Yeah, Orlando Jordan, or was it the other one? Was it Orlando? I know that I get him Orlando. and the other guy that got fucking fired and went to TNA confused. Right, the black right. guy, obviously. What, what the fuck was his name? Orlando Jordan went to TNA. Who? But uh, the other one did too. I don't think it was Orlando Jordan. A gay guy? Yeah, black gay guy. He was in JBL's cabinet for a while. That group. That was Orlando. That was Orlando. Jordan. That was Orlando Jordan. Who am I confusing him with? Bring the chat up while we're talking. You can remember this part. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Well, we had the main event. I yeah. mean, that's all we got to get to. Curtis Axel cut that promo last night. No, it uh, was Elijah Burke. He's not gay. I thought he was. I so Orlando Jordan is the gay is one. Is Burke gay? No, you're right. It's Orlando Jordan, right? Orlando Jordan was the gay one. So those are the two that went to TNA around the same time. Yeah, because uh, Elijah went over there as the Pope. You're right. D'Angelo. Yes, it, was, it was Orlando Jones. Yeah, I don't Jordan. think Elijah's... Uh, yeah, but they went around the same time. They're both black. One right, of them was gay. Right, right. I'm not a racist. Orlando kid. was the tall... I hate with that the afro. Say that. Orlando, to be honest with you, kind of looked a little bit like Darren Young with the afro. They got yeah, the big yeah, puppy yeah, yeah, afro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Orlando had that too. So. And they got the girly look in their eyes. Like there's a, there's a twinkle in their eyes where you can tell they're gay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking eyes. about? Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. All right, get to our live chat room, WZROnline.com. Uh, slash chat wzronline.com slash chat lots and lots of people in there as always tonight so the main event of uh, of Monday Night Raw from last night right it was pretty much it was the tag team from earlier five on two handicap right and and there was a backstage segment in the show or or somebody came out on stage and said that since since Roman Reigns it was and right Ed Bryan the, weren't getting along, it was right after the main event, uh, they had won by DQ, and then the very next match was a DQ. I remember that. Uh, but anyways, they won by DQ, and then after the match, because Bryan accidentally kicked Roman Reigns, right? Big Show right. Kane moved out of the way when Bryan was going to hit him, and he accidentally hit Reigns. So after the match, Reigns pushes Bryan and he fucking falls on his ass. Right, and right. They yell right. at each other, get in each other's face, and then that's where Triple H comes out. out and says, "Since you guys are such a yeah, great tag team, exactly, right, and getting along tonight, the main event of tonight's yeah, show, you're going to be in another. Along, yeah. You're going to be in another tag team match. This time, it's going to be against Big Show, Kane, Noble, uh, our Noble Mercury, or whatever and this guy, M and M Security, and then Rollins right. came out, yeah. and an M. Security and J and J J and J security Joey and Jamie right so and and Seth Rollins winds up coming out yes. so it's gonna be uh, the two of two. them against the five of them yes. exactly so that's what we had during the uh, during the main event we had Team Authority destroyed uh, Roman and Daniel Bryan for at least a couple well, of the minutes. numbers game was too uh, much. For him for most of the match, yeah. To overcome, right. And then, uh, what was the finish? I'm yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, Roman came back. Roman was on the outside for a while. Roman came back. Oh, that's third. what it was. Reigns, no, Reigns was down and out for a while. A while on the outside. Brian's getting beaten on. Finally, Brian starts making a comeback. Right. And the, whoever he was, Noble or Mercury, whichever one, everybody else had powdered out there outside the ring cell. Right, right, The right, only right, guys right. left in the ring are Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan and either Joey Mercury or Joe or, or Jamie, Jamie Noble. Noble. I forget right, which one. Right, Say right. Mercury. He's waiting for Mercury to get up and he's going to do the running knee because he's leading the fans in the yes chain right. in the corner, waiting for him. Yes, right, 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 right. Yes, yes, waiting for him to get up so he can run, double knee, boom, pin. Right. As he's standing there doing that, Reigns goes, tags himself in, tags walks himself in, in, spear, right. one, two, three, and Bryan just stands there like, what the fuck just happened? You just stole. You just stole, stole my, my, my yeah. win. And then they fell off the air with them looking at each other again, right? Right, face face. right, right. Well, didn't, uh, didn't uh, Daniel Bryan shoved Roman at one point? Yeah, like, and Reigns like, knocked him out or something. Yeah, right? like, 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 what are you well, doing? Where is he having it? Because it was basically a Roman Reigns. Bryan shoved turn. Reigns, and then Reigns hits Bryan with a spear. Right. It was basically a Roman Reigns heel turn to go off the air. I said to you, I said, is that a full fledged Roman Reigns? Heel turn he's now, doing or, subtle teases, or, but no, he was kind of justified. But that he speared. It's like a badass babyface thing to do. If you push me, I'm gonna fuck you up. You right, know what I mean? right, like right. Austin right. would have done that in his prime too, and it doesn't make him a heel. It just means the crowd 
react to you whether they like you or don't like you. Like, but when Roman Reigns, Austin, when Roman Reigns argue, comes out next week, yeah, they are going to boo the shit out of him for spearing He's Daniel doing Bryan. subtle heel things, yeah. Well, no, that's just a case that because a heel thing, he right? did a baby face thing, but to a guy that the fans like more than him, so he becomes the heel by default. Right. Which is what I was about to say. Stone Cold Steve Lawson, during pretty much his entire run, right. was a heel. Yeah. But because he was being a heel against people that people hated, like Mr. McMahon character right. and, and The Rock when he was being a heel heel. Right. Because he was being such a, a, a dastardly mean son of a bitch to these people we hate, right. we love them. We're like, yeah, yeah lock him up. Yeah, right, you know right, I mean? right, right. I think Roman Reigns is doing that edgy, badass, good guy shit, but he's doing it against a guy that people that he's beloved so much, Daniel Bryan. But they're not. Gonna, they're he gonna, gets booed by default. Right. They are gonna boo the shit out of him next week. When he and that's why him. I think, like you said and I said, they're doing subtle heel turn teases for Reigns the last few weeks. Right. To right. where I think eventually they do the full turn. You know. He'll be a turn, but does that mean Daniel Bryan wins at at Fastlane? Well, and the talk right now is you that you can't have heel versus heel at WrestleMania because Lesnar's a heel. It might be heel versus heel versus face. There's talk that it's doing the three way. Did you not hear the talk? No, I heard it. I yeah. heard it. A triple threat to match. Tell that people uh, that's out there in in, in, in internet TV land. Right. Basically, the the talk right now is that you guys, the fans. Made it happen again. It's going to be a triple threat match this it's year. It's going to be a triple threat. Reigns, Lesnar, and Bryan, which I don't see happening, by the way. No. But that's the talk right now. They've said unless something changes, we're going to the triple threat you know, and again. And not, not only that, but we put up a report the other day that Vince hadn't made up his mind over what was going to be the main event of WrestleMania. And then, before you get on the same thing, can I tell day, you can I tell on you? the same day, a poll winds up on WWE.com. Yes. Is that where you're going? No, no. Uh, I got to pick one. All right, all right, hold on. A poll winds up on WWE.com asking, who do you guys want to main event WrestleMania? So they don't know yet. That, exactly. That plays into my okay. game. Last year, it came out on the Ross Report podcast. Shawn Michaels said it. That Vince McMahon made the decision to end the Undertaker streak the day of the, the show. day off. I know, like five hours before the show went on the air. We put that up. That's my point, though. So, like, all right, right now it's a triple threat match. That's at least the plan again. Right, right, right. Even though they're working towards a one-on-one plan because whoever wins between Reigns and Bryan at Fastlane gets Lesnar. Right. The talk is triple threat. I don't see a triple threat happening. I see at the last minute Vince saying, we did this shit last year. This is the same angle for our main event this year as last year. We're not going to let the fans. Only it's two other guys. Instead of Orton and Batista, it's Reigns and Lesnar. We can't do it again. We can't let them fucking dictate what we do all the time. Right, right. You know? But you, you, you have to listen to your fans, and I don't think Vince... Understands that. I think if if I think Vince he thinks wants, he, if he does it the right way, he can make his fans. Cheer. He can make the but fans. But he can't when he it's can't. when it, not when it's a guy that they clearly love and want to be the guy. Although right, right. when Reigns speared Brian on Raw, he was initially booed, and then a yes chant broke out while Brian's laying flat on his back. They want so their yes break. chanting. So that those chants, if you're a fan of Daniel Bryan. I'm just telling you right now, do not chant yes unless Daniel Bryan's doing something good. Right. Because WWE is convinced that the chant is over, not Daniel Bryan. And if you remember, right. when that shit was first getting over early in the year last year, yeah. I was telling you guys that Daniel Bryan's not over. People just want to do yes the same way they like to do what? What? Austin's not Every, around the last 10 years. They still can't want the They were doing it to Rusev last here's night. The, here's and the what deal. Chant? Everybody wants Daniel Bryan. It's clear as day. Everybody wants... Daniel Bryan is their guy. Yes. It's, it's everybody's guy. The fans' guy. With that being said, Not give guy. Yeah. the fans what they want. Give them Daniel Bryan. I, honestly, I don't, Vince has something against Daniel Bryan. It's simple. He's got it's, something it's the size, against... It's the look. He's not a, it's probably he's the not a good-looking guy. His beard's it's, ridiculous. But it's it doesn't small. matter when you've got every arena... I'm not arguing that it's favorite. Week I'm telling after you what. week after week after week saying, we want yes. Daniel Bryan. We don't care about his look. We don't care about the but size. See, I'm telling you, we if you're in the Daniel office, Bryan. they convince themselves, Daniel Bryan's not over. Yes, chant is over. We can get him the chant. Yes, and anything. You can say that all you want. I'm just saying that's how they justify. But you're at the arena week after week no after shit. week, and you can justify. You can tell yourself no Daniel shit. Bryan's not over, but yet you're there no week shit. after week, and you hear ten, fifteen thousand people every no. single Raw, every single SmackDown. No shit. Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan. But then you get back to the office and you say Daniel Bryan's not over. What? How is he not over? Oh, we shit. heard him at Raw. 
We heard him at SmackDown. I was telling you. I was the, the one guy. of the first people saying the yes chance over not Dana Bryan early into last year. All right. That big craze happened. Several months into it, I had to eat my own words and admit, no, that motherfucker's over. It's He's not over. Chance. Now, there is a segment of the audience that just likes doing yes. Right. That is enough for whoever. Let's say it's Triple H. Let's say it's Vince. Pick okay. your guy. You want Vince to be the heel? All right, Triple H is backstage saying, "No, oh, we should go with Daniel Bryan because you like Triple H so much." I'll put it in the scenario that maybe you can grasp. Triple H is saying, "No, oh, Daniel Bryan should be our guy," and Vince is saying, uh, "Vince is convinced that the chant is over, not the guy." So okay. it's easy for him to justify his position when he says, "No, we're going here because he's not really over." The he's fans just like chanting yes. You want proof? Rain spears him and they chant yes. Obviously, Bryan's not over. He just got laid out by our guy. We're going. If something with. is over. Then, then run with it. Hey, if the yes chant is, is and how far you can go with it? No shit. If they're the not yes, doing that, if the yes chant is over and everybody's doing the yes, that's a good thing. No, you got ten, shit. fifteen thousand people all behind Daniel Bryan. Let's all see how far yes we can take this thing. Take it. Take got a it. momentum of run its own. It. Let's put our own momentum by it and there see what that happens. What is Roman? They don't want to do it when Roman Reigns is out there. Nobody does a yes thing or nobody. Roman Reigns he has have nothing. A thing, yeah, he doesn't have anything. Believe it's in just, that. It's, it's just a. Yeah. It's a bland promo every time. Oh, well, it he's gonna with come after his, Brock Lesnar. His big, and that's the bottom believe line. Believe that. Nobody yeah. gets the the believe that. The crowd doesn't chant. Believe that. All he's no got does that. All he's got is the old Shield shit. Believe in the Shield. I think I, the Vince entrance is, to the crowd, the Shield's theme music. They gave him everything cool about the Shield Vince, and said that's all yours. Ambrose come up with something new. Vince has got all come up like, with something new. And you know what? Everybody says that Daniel Bryan is one of the nicest guys backstage. Does whatever's asked of him. Uh, gets along with everybody. He seems like the type. Yeah. But there's, Vince doesn't like him. I, I, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know I don't why know, Vince... I don't think he doesn't like him. I just think he, he will never let that be the, the face of his company. He doesn't... Vince thinks that he knows better than, ev than the millions of people that watch WWE Raw. Vince thinks that no matter how much you guys chant for Daniel Bryan... He knows better than you. Well, his, and he's always known better than you, and he is going to make sure well, that his, Roman Reigns. we got to get the phone call. His man. thing is always not what the wrestling fans. Like, he thinks so much outside. Like, what does mainstream media think if this is our fucking main guy? Right. What yeah. do uh, casual fans that aren't wrestling fans think if they tune in and this is our main guy? He doesn't like that that connection to the outside he's world. crazy, man. All he needs to focus on is in your world. You've got your own universe, WWE right. Universe. Who right. does the WWE Universe like? Daniel Bryan. Outside the WWE Universe. Yeah, they might be like, God, this hairy midget is the fucking main guy these days. Blah, blah. That's all he thinks of. Right. Right. It's backwards. Think it's of what your actual fans like, not what people who aren't fans think of what you're talking about. Well, and the fan base is constantly telling them, we want Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is our guy. We don't they want anybody else. Yeah. We don't want anybody else but Daniel Bryan. We don't right accept now. anybody else. We're once, Rumbles, we'll tell you that. Once you give yeah. us Daniel Bryan, then go ahead and build some other guys. But right now, until we get Daniel and Bryan, we're going to shit on anybody. We're going to shit on Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah. We're going to shit on Dolph We're shitting on anybody until we get... And technically, oh, they've never... I'd like you talking an awful lot tonight, yeah, by the way. Yeah, but you make but a go point, ahead. and then but you go go belabor in the point of nothing new. Technically, they've never given Daniel Bryan his thing yet. Right. They gave him the title of Mania, yeah. yes, but he, all right, he got injured, he can't help that. They stripped him of the belt. Right. Never gave him a rematch, blah, 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 blah. They fucking forked him back in the third or fourth position on the, on the lineup. And now they're not, like, they're not, they've never given him the run at the top to see if it would work or not. He's never carried house show tours. He's yeah. never carried merchandise. He's never carried pay-per-view on his own. They've never given him that chance. Yeah, he, he had it until he got injured. And that last injury. He, he got get, injured. He didn't get one to get out of the title. He, he got injured. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he can't blame anybody for his injury. But right. my point being is, you're saying they should run with him. I'm saying I'm agreeing with you. They should run with him, see how far it can go. Right. They're thinking, well, we already gave him his chance. He main evented Mania. He won the title. He had his big moment. But he never got a run. But he got injured. Yeah, he never got a run to see how far it can go. But he's back now, and the crowd is telling you the same thing. And they should thing. have picked right back up where they left off should with have. him. Right at the top. Should have. And instead, he's Give jobbing a Bray Wyatt in his first Raw match back. Give he's him another shot. Getting thrown out of the rumble in the middle of the match like a jobber. He's getting Give laid out by Kane. Hey, hey, you gave him that one shot. The crowd was all over him. They loved him, man. Then he got hurt. You had to strip him of the title. He comes back. 
damn near a year later, eight yes. months later, right? He's back. The crowd is still the same when they left. Yes. We want Daniel Bryan back. He, it's even better than push, that. Push him to the top. Yeah. Well, and then even, let him go. It's even better than that. Cruise control. They, it's even better than that because they bring him back. They have Bray Wyatt beat him on his first Raw match back. They throw him out of the Rumble in the middle of the match like he's a jobber. They've got Kane laying him out like he's a nobody, and they still... They still cheer him! So that should tell you, if you're them, listen, we have tried to scale him down to a mid-card spot. Right. The fans are not having it. Right. We're treating him like a mid-carder, and he's clearly the most over guy we got. Imagine if we actually treated him, treated him. like the main guy, how over he'd be then. They don't think like that. They're like, Absolutely. we don't want this fucking guy being our main guy. <laughs> We're going to do everything we can to make sure he's not our main guy, you know. I, dude, I agree, man. Daniel Bryan needs to be the top guy. He needs to be the top guy. I agree. Guy. Uh, load the phone lines up, and then uh, let me do a refresh of the rapid fire. And for the next 25 of minutes... For the next 25 minutes, 30, wow. 30. Um, all right, quick next one 25 line. minutes, we're going to do live phone calls. If you guys want to call us up, you can do so. How? It is 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Give us a call. Jason Hansen, hey guys, here's the full card for tomorrow night's awesome NXT special. Yeah, we were asking for that earlier. What do we got? Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. It's going to be nasty. We don't need to do predictions. Just let's do uh, the card. It's going to be nasty. We already got callers. I think that's Jackie, too. Get understand. Jackie on here real quick. Jacqueline, it's good to talk to you again. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Hey! What's going on? I said, hey. You tell us. What's on your mind this week, What's Jeff? up? Hey, we got a lot of snow up here in uh, in Albany, New York. A lot of it. My best advice, stay warm and put plenty of salt down. I almost slipped, I almost slipped in two days. Oh, man. We got about two and a half feet, almost three feet of snow up here in Lots Albany. Of snow. Crazy. Oh, that I, I saw the after show last week. You got that you that funny is very cute. It is. I'm gonna bring funny. him in here tonight. I'm gonna bring Mac Daddy back and in here for the show. after show. I like show. the name of that, the after show. The after show. Yeah, the like WZR T V uh, after show. You just named it. And if Jacob's still yeah. awake, we'll bring uh we'll, we'll bring, bring Jacob in. in. Yeah. Jackie, you just named that segment. It's now called the WZR T V after show. When has it not been called the W Z R T V after like show? A, we would call it the post show. Okay, the Anyway. Okay, here, uh, what... Alright, so what do you want to talk about? Rusev? Lana? Do we lose her? Jackie? Jackie? Connection's still there. Is she talking? Yeah, I'm still here. There what's you going are. On eye? What's up? What's, go what's going on with Cena's eye? What's, what's going on with, uh... Cena's eye. Cena's eye. I, I guess that's the real deal. We put it up on, it is, uh, WZROnline.com yeah. today. Um, he is dealing with, what is the name of yeah, it? Yeah, scratched it, cornea, I think they said. A scratched cornea, yeah. and yeah. it causes, it causes, you know, black and blueness and to, swelling. to the eyes. It could be swelling a to poke the to the eyeball, which happens in the MMA a lot, and if the nail pokes, it scratches your eyeball. Right. When you get poked in the eye, if the nail scratches your eyeball, it'll swell. It swells up, yeah. right. Or... Right. And that just because the finger got jammed in there, it could swell. Or he maybe took a stiff punch right, at a right. house show so, or something. So where I could see, I think Rusev might have stopped him in the eye. <laughs> uh, you know what? It could have happened at uh, it could have happened at a at a live event. You know, uh, it could have been during the weekend. Knows. It yeah. could have it could have been anybody. Um, and we don't know exactly how it happened, heard, but yeah. it is the uh, it is the real deal. And uh, the WWE.com, they ran an article today saying it's going to take a little bit for him to recover from yeah. that, where he may have the black eye for another week or so before uh, before the swelling goes down. So we'll yeah. see. So um, are Ruth and Lana backstage at the SmackDown tapings tonight? I'm not sure. I believe I would so. Think so yeah. uh, normally, you know, they're at Raw and SmackDown on a weekly basis. So we're gonna have SmackDown spoilers here in just a little bit. But yeah, I would say that uh, Rusev is is probably gonna be a part of of that show. Okay. Um, another thing, I w uh, okay. I heard about Rikishi last night. Who else is going into the Hall of Fame this year? Uh, so far, we've only got three names. We've got uh, Macho Man Randy Savage was number one. Um, Arnold, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger was number two. Uh, the third I'm one back. was the third one announced uh, last night was uh, Rikishi. I can tell you that the fourth one, and I don't know if they're going to announce it next week, but uh, Larry Zabisco is, is he going in? One hundred percent. And Ray confirmed. Stevens is going in. And uh, the other one, the fifth one that we know about. The only two that have not been announced that we know about are Ray Stevens and Larry Zabisco. Um, I'm guessing one of those two names is going to be announced next week, and the week after, the other name is going to be announced. So Ray Stevens and uh, I, I know, Larry I know Zabisco. Who Larry, I know who Larry Zabisco is because he used to do a lot of announcing for Money Nitro. Right. Are there any you don't know who Ray Stevens is? Are there any managers going in this year? Manager. Um, I, I don't know about managers, um, but I, I mean, we've already got three names announced, and I just listed two more that have been unannounced that are definitely going to be going in. Um, that leaves one or two slots open, um, so it's possible that a uh, that a manager, but I haven't, uh, if so... Usually they try to every year. They have to have that dead yeah. guy, a headliner, a manager, a diva... Have they gotten a diva yet this year? A woman? Not yet. So they'll probably be one of those. Yeah. I can't yeah. think off the top of my head. Has Luna? Be. Is Luna in the Hall of Fame? No, and I don't think she no. should not be. The, not that I know of. Well, I don't the think only, the, only, the only diva I know who went last year was Lita, then the year before it was Trish. Yes. Trish, and then right. it was Sunny the year before that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know. Miss Elizabeth yeah, and Sensational pregnant. Sherry. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people talking today, uh, and, and I'm kind of with them. You know, I asked people on my Facebook earlier today, is Rikishi really deserving of a WWE Hall of Fame? Yes. Spot? I, Rikishi is deserving you of a Hall of Fame. You gotta rethink. He spot. wasn't just Rikishi. Well, uh, yeah, but but well, is it I because he was? What, wasn't he one of the head shrinkers yes. back in the day? Yes, he was one of the head shrinkers. He was the Sultan. He know, was. Uh, I don't know. He had a bunch of gimmicks. He's been in WWE one way or the other for like 15, 20 years. I think he comes. I think yeah. he comes from a famous family, and he's got the Usos that are his sons, and yeah, you know he he's comes cousins with these other guys. He's, yeah, he but comes from that annoyed. Yeah, he comes from that family. You know and what, yeah. I, I, I just I don't know that exactly. Rikishi. I don't look at Rikishi as a WWE Hall of Famer. I know I a lot of people agree with me on that, but some people don't. Some now, people that don't. character Rikishi, yeah, but if you fucking fold that into the rest of his career, it's like a nice lump yeah. and a nice big ball. All know? right, all right. We'll agree to disagree. Okay. I think Sable might one be the chick th- that goes in soon. We got one more, Jackie? Okay, okay. here's who I think manager-wise, the 80s, Someone who hasn't been in yet, I think Miss Elizabeth should go in. She's in. She's already in. Or oh, wait, is she not in? No, she's not in okay, because you know I was kind of hoping well, the then next they the should have... I found out about Randy they, that guess, are you he sure was going to go in, in too. I can swear she's in, but you know what? She might not be. She died of a drug overdose. I think... That might be why they won't put her in. I oh, it could be that. You know what then? If they're going to do Savage, if they're going to do Savage this year, but you don't want two passed away people, two you know, dead people. Ray Stevens in, in... would be the second one, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And they're not right. putting more than two dead people in yeah, one year. Yeah, you can't do three... People that have passed away, you can't do that all in it one year. It could be but maybe Jim Cornette. He's never. Elizabeth is not in the I can fame. swear she's in, but you know what? Maybe she's not. She's if probably you... right. Jackie's probably Jackie right. Jackie would know if you put right. the chat up. They could tell us. All right, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think I don't think she's in because she's um, not in. There you go. The, the only man to I know from the '80s that has been well, there's a couple. There's Heenan and, and Sherry because Sherry was inducted in '06, and then. I think Jimmy Hart was inducted. Yeah. Who else? Jaggy, let's let's do one yeah. more question, and then we got to uh, we got a lot of phone calls coming in here. So one more, give us one more. What is going to be the main event for WrestleMania? Oh man! Um, well, like we said earlier, right now the talk is that it will be Brock Lesnar defending against uh shit. Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan in a triple threat. It's either going to be a triple threat match or it's going to be Roman Reigns against Brock Lesnar. Yeah, or Daniel opinion. Bryan against Brock. Those are the options. Jacqueline, my, have a good... My money, my money is on Roman Reigns. All right. I would, a, that's a safe bet. But, have, uh, yeah, we need to get... Have, have a good week, Jackie. All right, I'll talk to you guys next week, okay? All right, be good. All right, Miss Jackie. Good. All right. 
All right, you guys can call us up, 518-712-3070. Let's get to these phone calls. So we were running down the uh, NXT card that Jason Hansen gave us. Yes. Sami Zayn against Kevin Owens. It's going to be a sick match That's in, the, be an uh, amazing in the main, main event. event. Yeah. We got uh, Charlotte against uh, Sasha Banks against Becky Lynch against Bailey. So it's actually a four-way. Yeah, that'll uh, be interesting. Partially right. Well, mainly their time. Divas matches. Tear the house down. That could be confusing with four. It could be confusing, but they're all really good workers, yeah, man. But the four of them really got to really have a good match played out for that to work. All right. We've got uh, Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy, who are the current tag team champions. Is that the against... Bald Billions? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Against the, uh, the Lucha Dragons. We've got Finn Balor against Adrian Neville. Another sick match. Hold on a minute. We've got a no DQ match against. Hold on one second. Three calls. We've got uh, Finn Balor against Adrian Neville. We've got Bull Dempsey against Baron Corbin, and we've got Hideo Itami against Tyler Breeze. It's a sick card from top to bottom. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's John. John, John Morgan. John who? Yep. What's up, John Morgan? Moore? Listen, I definitely think Rikishi deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. Not maybe not based on like you know WWE title runs or anything like that, but think about it this way: you look at Rikishi and you remember him instantly. Like that guy has that kind of staying power in your memory. Everybody remembers him dancing. Everybody remembers him with Too Cool. They remember his feuds against like you know Kane when he was in the tag team with Sabu. I did it for the Rock. I did it for the Rock. You remember the the Who Done It where he hit the car on Austin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that was huge. That was one of the that was biggest a huge storyline for like a full year. Yeah. Yeah, but wait a minute. You say you say that okay with Rikishi, you know. What about his Hell in the Cell bump where he knocked off the top of the head and he fell in the hell, the bell hay in the truck? All right. Yeah, but Huge. but wait a minute. All right, you say that you know when when you think of Rikishi, you remember him for the worm and too cool. I can tell you that uh, when I when I or, or yeah, that's where I'm going. Okay. Uh, when I think of Scotty Too Hotty, I think of the worm, a guy yeah. that always did the worm. So oh, well, should you... Scotty Too Hotty be a WWE no. Hall of Famer too? Because no. I think of the worm every time. I mean, I I I, I but get Scotty Too Hotty wasn't involved in a main event story length like I did to put a rock like we're talking about. He wasn't in that hell in a exactly. cell where he was thrown off the top and it was all main event guys. He doesn't have a variety of characters that you can say this right, character was over, right. this character was over. He had like Rikishi had like four characters that were over. Rikishi had staying power. He's the guy yes. that always sticks out in your all mind right. when you think it's too cool. Like a lot of people might not remember Grandmaster Sexy. They might not remember Scotty Duhati. Because that was the like, only oh, character. Oh yeah, I remember that big ass motherfucker dancing around in the ring. Yes. I definitely remember that. I can right. tell you, maybe I haven't been around or watching long enough, but Rikishi, when it I think of Rikishi, the yeah. Rikishi, all I remember is Rikishi. Rikishi. I don't remember any of its other You don't remember gimmicks. the Head Shrinkers? I remember the head shrinkers. The tag team. All right, I do remember. He was that. one of them. Okay. All right, the no doubt. Sultan. I don't remember him. It was the Rock's debut, I think, or one of his first matches. The Rock's dad came in and helped them beat up the the evil Sultan guy. Uh, you're right. I do remember the yeah. head shrinkers. All right, so he's a little bit different. You're right. You're, you're different, right. But, yeah, but yeah. there are other people that I mean, I would have to I would have to go and look them up. There are other people that I would say. You know, that may have had... Oh, a come on, there's plenty gimmicks. of people that should go in before Rikishi. Right, right, right. right. Yo, I'm not arguing that. No, no, no I'm no, just no, saying no. there are other people that For may Christ not sake, get it. For Christ's sake, Buddy, like, these guys aren't even in the Hall of Fame. They should right. fucking be first right. ballot, no duh, no obvious. Yeah. All right, John, have a, uh, have a good night, man. Thanks for the call. You too, guys. Take easy. All right, be good. Uh, we got Joseph Gallo. If you guys want to call up, we only got one open phone we had line. A bunch so try just now. So let's give us a call. It's five one eight seven one two three zero seven zero. Whenever we have an open phone line, when nobody's uh, on the line, just try to call back, and uh, we'll try to get to each and every one of you guys. We got uh, uh, Joseph big. Gallo. Who's Whose dick, dick is, is bigger? bigger, Matt Boone, seven and a half inches, or Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins. I didn't see the full size, but I, I know my girth is bigger. I can tell you that. I can Seth tell Rollins. I can tell that from the thumbnail. He had a skinny little turd. Tom Nelson, why does WWE ignore Rikishi's prior gimmicks in his career? That's what we just Well, they did that with about. Scott Hall when they inducted him. He was Razor Ramon. Scott Hall did not get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Right, right. Razor Ramon, Razor Ramon got inducted. Right, I know, I know. We got uh, David Adley. 
I thought that was yours. No, oh, I'll take David Hadley. You take the uh, the phone okay. call. David Hadley, do you realize the fake Sting was a way to show Triple H is running scared of Sting? I think it was just part of the segment last night. It might have even been a wrong. goof on. If you remember when they released the Best of Sting DVD, they had the wrong Sting yeah, on the back true. cover. That's true. The fake Sting that they had in <laughs> the NWO. I know. Yeah. Caller, Caller you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's Justin. How's it going? Justin, what's up, man? Hey, um, two quick things. So it looks like Seth Rollins does not have a dance partner for the pay-per-view, and we're supposed to see Randy Orton any time now. So what's up with that? Do you think he's going to start something with him that may be fast lane? Because he doesn't really have a match if you guys look at it. I, um, just, I just said it, bro. That's exactly part. what's planned you right see, now. You said it, bro. I mean, Randy Orton's been working WWE house shows, live events well, on, uh, on the weekends. Weekend, yeah. yeah, he worked. I think he worked the weekend before, man. No, he didn't. No? No, he just returned this past weekend. All right, well, he returned at... He was uh, advertised the week before. Okay, he returned at uh, WWE Live Events this past weekend. Uh, didn't appear on Raw last night. Probably not going to appear on SmackDown, but I'm thinking something's going to happen at the uh, at the Fastlane pay-per-view, and then that's going to lead us into WrestleMania. So you're going to have, you know, five or six weeks of a Randy Orton-Seth Rollins feud. Yeah. You don't want to blow it. You know, I, I mean, if you have him return right now, you've got, what, like two months until... Uh, uh, the WrestleMania yeah. pay-per-view. So I think if you hold off the return until exactly when you want to start it and then lead it in there, Correct. you've got a good five or six weeks to do it. And they and have I think the, fast lane makes sense. It has the organic build-up because the last time we saw Orton and Rollins, Orton, remember he did the first babyface thing where he just RKO'd Rollins out of right, nowhere? Right, right, right. And if I'm not mistaken, Rollins like injured Orton, and that's why we think Orton's been on the sidelines for so long. Yeah. As far as the storyline. The storyline is concerned. Yeah. Right. And then he had the movie thing. That's that the real running. reason, that's but the as far as if you're a little eight-year-old fan, you think Rollins hurt him, and that's why he's been gone so right. long, I think. All right, Justin, thank you for the call, bro. Be good. All right, we had uh, one, right uh, one more. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't you find it funny how uh, Rikishi's uh, Hall of Fame video played right after his son lost the match? Yeah, that was interesting. Right after they lost a match, hey, his dad's getting, and, and then they stayed in the ring and were like cheerleading for him after the video was done. But they had just lost. They had lost. So right. yeah, it was kind of a <laughs> kind of a bit of a fuck you almost. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. We had uh, Mac McCord. Uh, what does Boone think of all the positive drug tests in MMA? Talk about that real quick, man. Well, it just came out today that Hector Lombard had failed his test when uh, he, he beat Josh Berkman at UFC 182. Right, right. Which I believe was the Jones Cormier show. Right. Uh, and he failed that. He was going to be fighting Rory McDonald in what was going to be probably a title eliminator for the welterweight title, Robbie Lawler, uh, at the upcoming, upcoming show on April 25th in Montreal, UFC 186. Uh, they canceled that fight because uh, of McDonald failing the drug... Or, McDonald, I'm sorry. Uh, Lombard failing right. the drug test. McDonald got pulled off the card, which sucks for Canadian fans because he's the big hero in Canada, Roy sure. McDonald. And it was replaced by uh, Demetrius Johnson right. uh, defending the flyweight title against Kiori Hamaguchi, I want to say. I forget. Right. Hira, Hira, Hiraguchi, I think they say. Talk about Anderson Silva. That's the main one, man. Anderson Silva. Well, we talked about that. Last week it broke on air. It was Anderson Silva failing for two... PEDs, performance enhancing drugs, and right. Nick Diaz failing for weed. And then since then, it's come out. Bob Bennett, the Nevada S Athletic Commission director, um, pretty Except much it's not for steroids. No, right? no, no, it is. He pretty it much flat out said that they're probably going to overturn the decision in the Silva Diaz fight. Really? And it'll be a no contest. And if that happens, Silva takes a huge financial hit. Yeah, because you know how the UFC pays you show purse, win purse. Right, right. You get paid to show, you get paid to win. So he gets a show purse, but not the win purse. He'll get his win po yeah. purse taken, which we wow. reported according to the Nevada Athletic Commission was two hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Plus, he'll be fined by the Nevada Commission at least five hundred grand. You would think he's gonna lose about a million bucks. I saw that Diaz's uh, ex coach, I believe, came out and said that you know Diaz would have won that fight if Anderson wasn't on Roy. Caesar Is Gracie. That and the other thing, no, it was somebody else. I okay. can't remember. Ex trainer, ex ex coach, one of the two. All right, we got John Morgan. Uh, I wouldn't say Reigns had a heel turn last night. More like a heel pivot. Yeah, I mean, when Raw went off the air, though, I turned to Boone last night, and I said, damn, man, Reigns is going heel. But it wasn't a full-fledged heel turn. Yeah. And I know what you're saying. It was... And I've been saying for further. weeks, and I'll continue to say it in response to that. He's not... 
turning heel yet, but he's showing signs right. of heel behavior. Right, absolutely. Heel behavior. He's showing signs of heel behavior. Absolutely. Arturo Velasquez Jr. says, besides The Undertaker, who would be an ideal opponent for Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania? Besides The Undertaker? I don't know because I'm so trained to think of Undertaker Wyatt. I, I would say Dean Ambrose, but Ambrose they've already has done, done that, they've already done that a months. billion times. Yes. With the, you know, month after month after month they did that. Uh, that's two crazy. crazy type people, right? You know, and They've done most of the top guys. They've done Cena, they've done Ambrose, they've done Rain. No, nah, they've done Reigns of Solo. Uh, I'm trying Jericho. to think of a crazy, yeah, maybe Jericho. They've already done like Jericho. They already did that, yeah. right? Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Jason Hansen's back again. Uh, your top UFC uh, heavyweights, top five. Do you think uh, Rumble Johnson can beat John Jones? Anthony Johnson against John anybody Jones. can beat anybody, and especially if you're like Johnson. Uh, yeah, Rumble Johnson. He's got knockout power. He could knock out a lot of heavyweights. I mean, he beat Andre Arlovsky in a heavyweight fight to get back in the UFC. Right. Uh, does he beat John Jones? No, of course not. No, nah, Jones is so good, man. Top five light heavyweights. I, uh, John Jones. Top five heavyweights. Light heavyweights, he said, right? Oh, heavyweights. Fuck me. Cain Velasquez, Fabrizio over Doom. Dos Santos. Dos Santos, Stipe Miocic, and then whoever you want at number five. Roy Nelson, Mark Hunt, one of those guys. Right, Stephen Stroop, right. One of those guys. Who we got next? Overstream, man. maybe. Overstream. John Morgan. Overstream. 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 <laughs> John Morgan. John Morgan says, I'm willing to bet that the reason Lesnar was there last night at Raw is because WWE has several leftover appearances on his contract, and with only one month to go before WrestleMania, they decided they may as well get their money's worth from him. Well, they could pay him per appearance. I mean, if they need another appearance, but they don't like to do I that. I thought we had a running with. count of his, it was a while ago, but we had a running we count, did, and I he know. had like barely enough to just do Mania. They may be Summer paying Slam him for a couple of extra dates. They, we don't, well, actually, we, don't we heard that. I think that. that they extended the deal a little bit. A little bit longer, yeah. It's not a little yeah. bit longer, but like they added a couple more dates to it. Right, I think right. we reported that. I don't remember. Though. Brian Shoptaw, do you think WWE will listen to the fans uh, as their poll right now about Brian's and Daniel, uh, or Brian's and Rain, Brian and Rain's Dude, it was 84% to 12%. 89% right now for Now it's Bryan. 89%, you know, for, for Daniel Bryan. I, yeah, we talked about this earlier. Daniel well, that Bryan, would be the triple threat if they go with that. Like, Daniel Bryan is the guy that the fans... Do. I don't think they're taking Reigns out of that match. No, I they're not. The debate now is do they add Bryan to Do they to add it? Daniel Bryan? Which, by the way, I say no. Don't do the same main event two right. years in a row. I don't right. care how much the fans are clamoring for it. You should have done that if that's what you're going to do. Or do Brian and Lesnar head up, but, you know, get Reigns out of there. And get Reigns out of there. They're not getting Reigns out of there. Not exactly. at WrestleMania. They're clearly not, not getting, WrestleMania. The way the direction's going on TV, they're not getting Reigns out of there. So the best that we can hope for is that they add Brian to it. Right. And if they add Brian to it, I still think Reigns comes out with the title and then just like, all right, well, Brian was in it, so they didn't boo the Because I think that's the whole reason that if they do the triple threat, it's so that, that the fans... WrestleMania draws the most diehard fans in the world. Right. They don't want them pulling a Royal Rumble and booing the entire show if right. Brian if Brian is not in the if main Brian's event. Not there. Right. If he's booked in the main event, they're not going to boo the whole undercard because they don't know if he's winning or losing yet. Mm -hmm. You get to the main event, they don't boo that either because they don't know if he's winning or losing yet until the very end. If he doesn't win, they boo. Right. Big deal. They boo for 20 seconds and then we go off the air. Right. So it doesn't really do anything. I think that would be the uh, why Mullen. we add Brian to the main event. Jay Mullen is up next, man. That's for you. Jay Mullen says, hey, Boone, once again, you're 100% correct. Did you have any doubt, Jay Mullen? No, I'm just kidding. You say time and time again that Clark takes his theory and runs with it like it's the real deal. Now he says a New Day stable. Uh, the New Day stable idea was taken from a clip he posted. Little does he know New Day, New Day debuted before that video clip came out. Hashtag, uh, clip's been out for hashtag about. Hashtag do that research, bro. Uh, uh, that clip's been out for about a year, man. If you go back on YouTube, that clip's been out for a long time. I told him Big E and all that. About a year. Big E was doing the whole oh, hey, oh, 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 That kind of hey, you stereotypical do shit. your research. That clip came out about a year ago and the new day. No, it didn't. Came, yes, it, it was did. just premiered on Howard Stern about three months ago. It was no, it was not. Yes, it was. I saw it about six months ago. It was three months, maybe three or I four months it. ago. But and when the they new introduced day, it, 
that when they introduced it, they aired video packs no, when Stern week after week it. after week. When Stern introduced All it, right? it was from an event that had just happened. They said, oh, over the weekend, blah, blah, blah. And go then, back and find hey, out when that video like came out, He's and like then this. go back and find out when the New Day debuted. That video was before the New Day, and I guarantee you. Not their physical debut, the vignette debut. Is the vignette de- debuts. That video was before... The, I can't confirm or deny that, but I can tell you can check, that the, the check video. Check the facts, bro. But I can tell you that the video that you're right, talking we gotta, about. We gotta go here. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying. Well, there's stuff about 20 of them left. Mike Jung, did you hear uh, trying to shoot he with uh, Russo? Yeah, <sighs> bro, it's 10 o'clock. Agreed. You gotta get out of here, man. Did you hear China shoot with Russo where she claimed Triple H hit her? I did. I uh, checked that out. Vince Russo's website. That went up last night, right? You saw that? Went up uh, last Friday. No, the China the video with Russo came up after Raw. China, the podcast with Russo, was up last Friday. No, it wasn't. They, they I had checked it out last part. Friday. They were promoting all week that it comes right after Raw. China's on the uh, Russo thing. He came up a hundred times. Chris Chisholm. Chris yeah, Cash. Yeah. It was f- last Friday. I watched it. Mm, no, it wasn't. But okay. It was 45 minutes long. Yeah. I watched it last Friday. They promoted it all week. It'll debut after Raw. China on Russo's thing. I watched the last Friday. Okay. <laughs> I don't Mr. know. Mr. Nugent says, in response to Jason Hansen's post, what do you guys think about the overall card and event for tomorrow night's live NXT TakeOver rival special It's good, event? man. And Talked you, about that earlier. And are you excited for the featured matches? Yeah. I'm excited for every match on every NXT live special card. John Morgan, can WWE potentially have The Undertaker lose two WrestleMania matches in a row? What do you think of that? I think that's the the thing behind Bray saying I'm not scared of you anymore. Kind of like, oh, you've already been beaten. Your your untouchable myth is broken, so I'm not scared anymore. I I don't know that the Undertaker's gonna lose two in a row, dude. I, oh, do I, I think he's gonna lose two in a row? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Well, maybe if he wants to put Bray over on the way out, you know. Jack Shakes, uh, have you snakes. looked at the r- snakes? Have you looked at the ratings? Uh, show Buzz show for wrestling shows like Impact Raw. Sites like PWT Torch. seem to be getting a yeah. PW Torch seem to be getting the ratings wrong for wrestling one way or another. We know that the rating came out as a two point seven for Raw. You want to know how you get the ratings right? You fucking say fuck PWT. You go to WZR <laughs> online. Go to Nielsen com. Media Research is where we uh, we get them. You man. gotta pay if you want to get there. So right. you go to WZROnline.com. He'll give you the number. Oh boy, give me a George Romero says I got a question. Jorge. George Romero says, I got a question. <laughs> How does Josef, oh, Joseph Gallo know Matt Boone's size? L- oh, because I've said up here, a guy in the other question said, who's Cox bigger, me or Rollins, because I'm seven and a half inches, blah, blah. Oh. I've said it on the air before. I used to measure when I was a kid. My parents would take me. And you and told th- us this story yeah. before. You used to take out a fucking tape well, measure. Uh, this girl, Belinda, who was a friend of the family, like a hot chick. She lived with us with her kids. So she would go into the bathroom with Tim, my stepdad, Chris, her husband, and me, the only old enough guy uh, other than those two. And each of us would go in the bathroom with her one at a time. She'd fucking show us her tits and get us excited and stuff. And we would measure. Yeah. And it was seven and a half. I was we about, should get out of here on that note. I was about 15 years old. It was we'll seven leave, and a half we'll leave you with that. Goodbye. <laughs> 15 years old. It's probably grown since. All uh, right. We'll take a couple that we have. And uh, some of you guys, we got Christopher Brown. Uh, with regards to the booking of Rusev and Cena, what's to prevent Rusev from having the same letdown Wyatt did from his program with Cena last year? Super Cena, Cena wins every time. <coughs> I, I didn't really pay attention that. to that. What's the gross to booking a Russo versus Cena? What's the it's basically it? Cena always wins. So is oh, no, Super he, Cena going to win? And, if, and, and they've been building up the fact that Rusev, I watched on the pre-show, they really hammered it home there. He's never been pinned or submitted ever on WWE TV. Rusev. Right. Yeah. Undefeated, never been pinned, never been submitted. He's lost DQ. I hope he beats Cena, but Cena's going to be the guy Cena to will end be the that guy streak. To finally beat right? That's why they're reminding everybody he's never been beaten. So that when Cena does beat him, it boosts Cena back up. You know. Who haven't we taken? Uh, Anthony Remy, who should be in the Hall of Fame. We talked about that. With, with, uh, uh, yeah. We should go forever on that. Uh, David Hadley, thoughts on Sinclair Broadcasting not wanting to put more money to ROH this year. That story came out a couple of months ago, to be honest with you. They're really being 
you know, at, at, at first they wanted to put a lot of money into the promotion, yeah. not so much now. And they got pay-per-view now, ROH, so you would think yeah. they're finally starting to get somewhere, but then they lose their TV, their pay-per-view's worthless. Uh, the, another one from Hadley about the Usos losing right before Rikishi's Hall of Fame. Talked yeah, about that earlier. Called it, or somebody else called it. Uh, Jason Hansen, do you guys see uh, Finn Balor against Hideo Itami on next NXT last week? So they did that match Yeah, last that's week. where I heard it. I didn't, but was it a good match? It was a yeah, tournament it was, match. It was, okay. it was really good. Yeah. Um, Anthony Ramu we'll take a couple for him Kurt Henning died on this day 2003 rest in peace to him right yeah well, Ray John Morgan's got a pretty interesting one right, here. Right. While, while you're skimming it if you decide you want to yeah, read yeah. it the Kurt Henning thing man we talked to him the week of his death I know we did we had I him know. booked for the show and the day we talked to him I'll just throw out days right we right. talked to, I don't, these aren't true but it was this close apart we talked to him and booked him on Monday Right for a Thursday show, he died on Wednesday, something like that. Yeah, like he died. Yeah, you know, it, it might have even been he died on Thursday, the day of the show. It, it was, was something a very, very couple very, days. Yeah. No, no, no. We had booked him a couple days before he died, so yeah. we had talked to him and heard his voice a few days yeah. before he died. Yeah, and then the day that he died was either the day he was supposed to do our show or it was the day after he died. He was oh, supposed it was to do our crazy. show. Crazy. It, it was, was that crazy. soon. Yeah. Ah, uh, Joseph Gallo, uh, HB Goo. Why does the WWE continue to hold down black guys for white skinheads in the main event? Jesus, man. What did he say? White skinheads. Why Where do they hold reading? down? Why do they hold down black guys? Why does the WWE continue to hold down black for white guys for skinheads. white skinheads? Skinheads. Who's the skinhead? Well, white. He's calling the white guys that were at the main event skinheads. Yeah, but none of them are actually skinheads. I think that's a racist reference that he was trying to make. Black guys versus white. Who are the black guys that skinheads. the skinheads are beating up? I, I, Name a black top star in WWE right now. A black top star? Who's the w biggest name that's black in Mark WWE? Mark Henry. He's not even in there anymore right now. Name somebody else. Big E. He's in a new day. And then, well, they're nothing. It's not many Tyson black guys. Tyson works superstar. Uh, almost, almost the entire roster Our is works white guys. Matches. They're not skinheads, yes. but they're white guys. Well, for the longest time, The Rock was like the only black champion they ever had. Hey, Vincent Nugent, Fuck last one. one. Uh, well, what do you guys think about those particular WWE talents that returned at live event house shows this week as of late? Well, Randy Orton Bo came Bo Dallas back. was the other one. Uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, some NXT guys are yeah. on the road with, uh, with WWE, yeah. so... Ryan, how did you miss the chance to call your new rabbit, what is it, Mac, Mac Militant. Militant Teddy Long Ears? Nah, no, it's Mac Daddy. That's Mac Daddy. Mac I Daddy. Know, joke, Mac Daddy is going to be in here in just a couple of minutes on the WZR After, after show. show. Thank you, Jackie. All right, sorry we had to uh, rush through rapid fire. We got WWE SmackDown being taped tonight. I got a bunch of news posts that got to go up on the website. Updated House Hardcore uh, card is coming up. That's going to be a great event in uh, Philadelphia. NXT <sighs> Special tomorrow night. Even this guy right oh, I'll here. I'll be watching, man. Even this guy. And he never watches... I watch the specials. You yeah. watch Raw every week, but I watched every every single NXT special. At, that's what I'm saying. Yes. This guy never watch. He doesn't watch SmackDown. He doesn't watch Impact. The only thing this guy watches Raw. is Monday Night and Raw, except yeah. and pay per views. Raw and pay per views. But every he doesn't even watch NXT on Wednesday nights. Neither do I. But when the specials come on, on oh, this dude watches. I'm there. So he watches Raw pay-per-views and the NXT specials. I'm telling you, do not miss the NXT special tomorrow night. I promise you. And I think this guy, too. Well, he's selling this show harder than his own fucking It's going to be a great fucking yeah, show. It's going to be a great show. And speaking Best of my business... Just look at the lineup. It looks great. Speaking yeah. of my business... Well, how can they get to your business? I don't know. What's your what's business? What's the greatest website on the web today? It's none of your business. Oh, oh it is your it, business. It's their business. It's actually your business. Oh, it's WZROnline.com! Oh, fucking dot com! That's the greatest business on the internet today. I started from the bottom. Now you're here. WZROnline.com. We want your feedback for this week's WZROnline.com show. How they can submit feedback. It's quite simple. You go to Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Give me your Facebook. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Facebook.com slash 
Brian Clark WZR. Tell them what you liked, what you didn't like. You tell us what you like, we'll do more of it. You tell us what you didn't like, we'll do less of it. This is how we give you the show that you want to see and hear every single Tuesday motherfucking night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Facebook.com slash MadBoonWZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you thought. That's it. You know what I think? What do you think? For Matt Boone. Me. Ryan Clark. Him. Say see you next Tuesday night. What time? 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here on WZROnline.com. Boom.